Hey y'all, welcome to another episode with the Petty Party Crew. We're at episode 107. It's your girl Crystal, aka Champagne Chris, aka Chrissy F. Baby, please say the baby. What up, y'all? It's your girl Jory, aka Ali Gabor today. And it's your girl Michelle, aka Egypt the Few Nash. Stay back like I never left. What's good, everyone? Hey everyone, it's Jess Nick checking in, and I'm excited. Everyone's in the studio today. I'm real excited, y'all. And they saved the best for last, y'all. It's your girl Amakalek coming out the <laughs> set. What's good, everybody? Hey, y'all. We're terrible. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> like y'all, y'all awake? <laughs> no, literally. I let Paula have her moment. Thanks. Yeah. Thank I, you, Jordan. I, 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 I let her it. have her save the best for last it. moment. But I think that we <laughs> said, y'all, we gotta get past that. Like y'all gotta get past it. Yeah. I ain't never had it. So. It's just our thing. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's just what we do. The thing is, everyone always is like, that's so corny. We got to stop saying it until they last. I think that's the problem because it's giving real hater energy because it's like... <laughs> hater. I feel like it you gets, wanna, it You want to move past and say the best for last and then as soon as that person who says that is, is last, then it's... You know what? We need to go look at all the prior episodes because I'm pretty sure Michelle has been the one who said to stop saying it the most. You're lying. What do you mean? I started it and y'all yeah. was hating on me. I think it was you Did that you wants us it? to end no, it. No, Michelle definitely started that. Yeah, I know she started I feel like you definitely said it more than anybody here. Yeah. Yes. So. To oh, to like end yeah. it. Yeah. You're, what? Yeah. No, to end it, no, Nikki and <laughs> Crystal the, the, the and you. Thank you. What? Can you try to rewrite this? Right? I just started doing that, yeah. though. They you know, definitely I, didn't I, start I, here. I've been so. waiting to be the last I can say it. I've never been last to say it. Okay. It's like, that's, that's a lie. That's a lie. You ain't said she's going to let you have your moment. Thank you. Thank you. away. Sheesh. Moment gone. All right, y'all. Wait, so how was y'all's week? No, I actually have a quick question. Okay, for sure. I want to know, do y'all feel like side chicks are just for aesthetics? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aesthetic Aesthetic of of what? Aesthetic in what way? Okay, so. A broken home? Unpack. (laughs) I saw a tweet and it said, a side chick is everything a man wants in his woman, but he prefers to see and enjoy it alone with his woman. He can frolic and caress his side chick in the presence of his friends and others, but won't do the same with his main woman in public. Side chicks are for aesthetics. Aesthetic of First the of guy? All, who said that? Basically, like... Who said that? A guy. A guy did say <laughs> this. No, no, no. I'm like, saying the aesthetic... This for the aesthetic of a, of a guy. I think the aesthetic Not of a guy, show. like, to show off to like the public to his friends for the guy yeah yeah because the thing is i feel like Mm. they're not gonna like put their main girl out there like that as far as like being like maybe like nasty with them in public but they can do that with the side chick but no shade like okay so if if a guy is like caressing and showing off a girl and not his main girl like is she the main because it's given like you're the side chick if you're the secret i mean i don't know but i feel like a lot of main women wouldn't be with pda and things like not a lot but there are you know some women that are very um, reserved and they may not be with PDA whereas I feel like sometimes side chicks especially if you know you're a side chick you just want to be nasty oh, wait so the the, 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 em- the emphasis is on like in public yeah oh okay Cause I, but I outside of public I have heard guys say that like they do stuff with their girl uh, other girls that they wouldn't do with their regular girl because they don't want to look at her in a different light mm. and to me that's I have, weird I've heard multiple that's men weird. I've had multiple men say that to that's me that's weird if, I feel like if people would just date what they like and are into things the world would go around because <laughs> yeah. there's no point in like I think a dating between, what looks good and fucking around with what you like I think that's, that's weird for, I think that's <laughs> the reason why men I really do feel like a lot of men they date what they like but they marry what they think they need yeah, mm-hmm. and it might not correlate. You know what I'm saying? And that then, all the but time, then they though. never mind. I don't all the time. feel like that applies to women too. No, I think so. Yeah, I feel like it's the same all I around. So. Like I, I think it's a human thing. Yeah, I think that women are more willing to marry someone that they really, really like than what they actually need. I feel like a, I oh, feel no, like women no, compromise no, no. a lot in that situation. Mm-mm. I feel like men settle more. Really? Women too. No, really? I think we equally settle. Well, but, yeah, honestly, I think we equally settle. But it's the same thing for a man. Like you see a lot of guys who like, like you said, they, you know, their their wife or their main chick is one thing, and then their the other girl, the chick number two, is completely opposite. Like, cause it, it kind of like it feeds into their ego, their quote unquote aesthetic. But like you know, like you're not gonna bring her home, so you're gonna do what is right to the public eye or what's right on paper versus. But what this you really is my thing. Do. Why can't you bring it home? That. 
if yeah. someone this is how I feel if someone this carries is, that's how a guy feels if, a, and like it's weird to me because if someone carries himself well and they're nasty I feel like you get both world best but of both but can you world. carry yourself well and be nasty like yes, in public you can. yes you I can think, yeah. like, yes you can what does being Zip nasty have to do how do you no, present yourself be to the world nasty in public we're talking about we're the talking about in public. wait so are you talking public. about like a guy so taking like, a girl we, to like a swingers club we're not talking about public nasty because a lot of married couples do that so like no I feel okay is he fingering her in the club like like I'm confused which means like me stealing a kiss in public not stealing no like it's y'all just what, like deeper than I, okay that. i need an example yeah, of what is a, pushing the envelope nasty. in public uh, pushing the envelope in public like let's say that y'all are at the club okay and y'all are dancing whatever you push him on the couch you get on top of him y'all start Nikki, making out please would a husband and wife do that <laughs> oh, some husband and wife not that, the but real like, no like, come I'm, on now that's vi- I'm telling only, you, but they might do that with but, their side chick. But they that's might. not true. I've seen married couples behave that way. It's whatever your about? vibe is and what y'all on. Okay. I, I will say to play, I don't even want to say devil's advocate because <laughs> I don't know. But The devil. I, yeah, <laughs> just to play the devil. Um, someone, I did have a conversation with somebody who he said something similar and I feel like it may be just like a maturity thing, but a lot of guys, like they'll maybe sleep with a girl or sleep with multiple women. And they have like a, I don't want to like say a lower sense of respect for them, but they just don't respect the women. And that's why they're doing all these things. So once they get a girlfriend who they feel like, oh, she's to be respected, they're afraid to do those things because in their head, they don't want to look at their girlfriend the way to look at these quote unquote hoes. Mm -hmm. And that's what he said to me. To me, I was like, that doesn't make any sense. So you'll do all these things with women that you don't love, but you won't do it with your girlfriend. He was like, I do that shit to hoes. I would never do that with my wife. I would never do that. That's stupid. It it is like, but y'all are weird. You're living a double life for no reason. Find someone that's into everything you like and be happy. What are y'all doing? Or stop fucking people you don't respect if you're afraid you're going to mix up. This world is so wicked. I don't even understand the ideology. The way I kind of think about it is, okay, let's say that you do everything he likes. And he might want to marry you, whatever. But if if someone did everything you asked them to do, would you not think that they're doing that with everybody else? Why would what? I think that? That's if, we have, if we're locked no, in, not at that. Maybe in that. No, in that time, like, it's just y'all two. But like their past, like do you would you even feel like any bit of special? I don't, I'm not gonna lie, because if you no. meet a guy in the first day, he just begging to eat you out. I'm just like you just yeah, no, your mouth be everywhere. There are some people that like they'll try things like you know some people have been open to try stuff and they meet someone that they're open to doing it with like so I mean I mean I'm not like okay but feeling spe- I mean feeling I, special because you're doing something I'm sorry it's just <laughs> I see both sides I do agree like when you meet a guy who's like so eager to eat you out or whatever it may be it's kind of just like mm, you're like this with everybody but I also ha- you can talk to other people who aren't vocal like that who are yeah. really freaky but I don't think oh did he do this freaky shit yeah, with the girl before me I'm, I'm I don't me. care I think it's how you come on to me if you come on me like that I don't want no part of you what <laughs> I'm, is that his fetish? Like, <laughs> is that his fetish? Its own. I mean, clearly, if he's looking tall, that's his fetish. Like, at yeah, that point, like, I can't clearly. be upset if he did that with another girl. Like, that's just what that's he likes. What he li- yeah. So you yeah. kiss toes. Me? You'd be kissing him, right? But girl. I mean, so wait, then, <laughs> but then, mouth. But then that means guys that goes for everything. The, then yeah, guys can feel the same way about girls giving head. Oh, you gave head to everyone else. I don't feel special. That's why that's you don't how head on niggas the first day. love saying that. Listen, y'all, I'm not gonna <laughs> kink shame nobody. Do what you want to do. If you want to give head on the first day, do it. Do whatever you want to do. It makes you happy. I seen a tweet that said, "Judge you <laughs> if you look at nigga toes. Like if you look at nigga toes, or if you eat a nigga ass, you belong off the effect." <laughs> Because <laughs> you can do anything. Can, I don't know. Because I feel like niggas don't be wiping their ass good. I don't know. I just. <laughs> I good. don't think a lot of people wipe their ass good, and I wipe ass for a living. So therefore, I know <laughs> <Right>. y'all don't. <laughs> Not I wipe ass for a right. living. I'm dead. All right, y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and move into the moto. Thank y'all for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> um, this one's for the mothers. All right, y'all. And I'm happy we're actually talking about this because I feel like we don't get a lot of like older women motos, you know. So we'll see. My 30-year-old daughter is in a polygamous relationship with a married man. She brought him home for the holidays, and while he is charming, I felt uncomfortable. This may have been triggered by my husband's infidelity infidelity that led to our divorce. Now, my daughter tells me she would like to bring this man on our family uh, annual trip to Greece this year. It may be petty, but I don't want to foot the bill for another woman's husband, and I don't see any way this relationship can lead to my daughter's happiness. Should I lay out my boundaries and risk my daughter not joining me and the rest of the family on vacation? Okay, I need to begin first. Um, she is not in a polygamous relationship. I think your daughter's a side piece to a married man. Because, like, I mean, that means you're married. If you're in a polygamous... If, if, if you're all together, that means 
you're a wife with the other, right? Oh, I think she meant maybe polyamorous. I think polyamorous. Okay, maybe people, okay, yeah. maybe wrong word. Okay, come like oh, yeah. I don't know how maybe. she can be in it. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't see an issue with her I mean, as her mother, if you're uncomfortable about something, I feel like you should be able to speak your mind respectfully and just talk to her. But other than that, I don't think it's petty for you not wanting to foot the bill for him. Cause like I, I you don't see there's something you don't like in him and I, I have to respect it. And hopefully your daughter does too. But then at the same time, knows. you have to respect her too. But her daughter has to respect too that your mom does not have to cover you and your she doesn't. man's They're trip. Grown. So like, if she's not footing the bill, and that means you don't come. Then hey, that that is what it is. Because I don't think I would expect my mom to. But if it's like that an annual family trip, but like if it's like a, there are a lot of family like it's an annual family trip. They'll cover everyone, but it's like right. Mm -hmm. But if it's your... just me and my significant other, I wouldn't expect solely my mom. To yeah, no. or parents or yeah. family. Yeah, it seems like that's. It's like a foot big the bill fam yeah, for the entire like the for the entire trip though. Probably like all come together. So would you feel part. like any type of way if they foot the bill for everybody on the trip but you and your new boyfriend? Um, Just because your mama doesn't like him. I mean, I can't expect my mom to do nothing if she don't like the man. You know, I can't expect her to because I know if she did like him, she would cover it. Yeah. So, I mean, to each his own, I'm not going to be like, pay for it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you can't really do nothing about it. It's just it's unfortunate. Like, it's like, y'all yeah. can both go on a trip, but you just got to be prepared for like, yeah, the, and on top of that, you're and grown awkwardness. and you're in a polyamorous relationship. Like, yeah. that means there should be plenty of money to go around, honestly. Literally. To be real. <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel like for me, it you and your daughter need to have a conversation because if she's interested because i mean it's, it's very different because i feel like maybe the mom's thinking that her daughter's being taken advantage of maybe this guy's like feeding her like bullshit and he's really married and she's really having an affair maybe his wife's not open to it and that is a possibility and i feel like a conversation could probably extingu extinguish some of those fears but at the same time if your daughter is into polyamorous relationships there's a possibility mm. that she may go from this guy to the next to the next to the next so maybe you need to sit down with your daughter and have a conversation about mm -hmm. the fears that you have and the reserve reservations that you have so that y'all can get through it because i do see what nikki's saying if it is a situation where people are bringing their boyfriends and their girlfriends and their significant others and everyone's bill is getting footed but yours like i mean inside internally you're gonna feel away you know mm -hmm. it's gonna to have the disapproval of your mom to the fact that it's like almost she doesn't want to disinvite him but it's like he's coming out of pocket for everything and it's not that vibe for everyone else, then mm, that may, that I can see that causing a wedge between y'all's relationship as mother and daughter. So, I mean, I feel like an easy I, conversation can fix that. And I think for me, I think that also, like, you see how the mother also put in there that it might be called, she might be triggered by the fact that, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. her and her ex husband mm -hmm. broke up due to infidelity. And so I think that's one of those things where the mom might need to research that type of relationship, you know what I'm saying? And then sit down and have that conversation, like Michelle said, with her daughter. Because, like, if her daughter is feels respected, she's happy in this relationship, mm -hmm. you know, and it's they're they're open on everything, you know, the other wife knows and things like that, then she just needs to have that conversation. Yeah. Yeah. If the other wife knows, I'm not going to lie. But at the same time, it's, it's crazy that the daughter even, like, gave that type, like, Reveal that type of information to her mom. And that should tell, and you that, know what I mean? But I think that, that says a crazy. lot. I think that says a lot. I think mm -hmm. that that says she, like, actually, like, respects She's her yeah, mom's yeah. opinion and she trusts her mom yeah. you know so for, so for her to bring that to her mom it's, i think she really yeah. you know but then she, but okay so if they have that open relationship then i feel like the now hearing this then her i feel like the way her mom's going about it is kind of like now petty now because it's like if y'all have that open like relationship where it's like a safe space now to me you're kind of breaking that safe space mm -hmm. rule because it's like now mm -hmm. I feel like I have to like pick and choose if I, you know what I'm saying? Like it's now you're giving like basically like, ultimate. Maybe she wasn't expecting her mom to react that way though. Like I'm open, like, you know, you have the relationship with your mom where you're open enough to go and tell her like whatever it is that you need to, especially as an adult. But now it's like, you see your mom is not receptive to the information that you told you. So I think she's going to pull back a little bit. So I think that's where the question comes from. I don't think that like, she's not, not comfortable with her mom. That makes sense. Yeah. And also freedom of speech is not freedom of consequence. I'll be honest. Like, and I feel like a lot of times and not to even, <laughs> Be sure going to take this personal, but I feel like a lot of times you'd be like, "Oh, I tell you everything. I'm truthful. You should be able to accept that." And it's like mm -hmm. that's not how that works. The yeah. whole point of like having a transparent relationship is that you should be comfortable telling me stuff, and you should be comfortable receiving what I have to say. It's not like a closed door. It's not you tell me everything, and I have to sit up and put up with things you're telling me. It's there should be room for me to give you my feedback, and you to be open to hearing like my opinions mm -hmm. on certain stuff. What were you gonna say? Um. I just assume she would have open relationship, but at the same time, if she doesn't, she's grown, and maybe that's why she told her mom, and so maybe that's why her mm -hmm. mom is 
reaching out like what should I do because in my head I would assume okay she told her she's in a whatever type of relationship but I'm like maybe she's just grown and she tells her mom like this is what I'm doing mm -hmm. and doesn't care what her mom thinks per se so I don't know but I feel like if I if I went on family trips all the time and it, the, it was covered and then I had a significant other I would not expect my families to cover it like mm -hmm. if they do cool but at the end of the day I'd be like oh this is what it's going to cost for you to go I wouldn't I wouldn't trip mm -hmm. about it because mm -hmm. I'm going to get covered still with my mother <laughs> but, but, but you're going to have to like pay that also tells you the seriousness of the relationship that she really wants to bring him on like the annual family trip. That's what she has a man. Some people don't care. No, no thank you, Nikki. I know people that have it's, everybody gets to be around the family thank for you. every yeah. occasion and function. Okay, and there's yes. nothing wrong with it, but I mean, she has a boyfriend, so why would she not want to bring him on the trip if everyone else is bringing yeah, him? Yeah, have a nigga ever at like early days, like a nigga ever asked you to go to like a wedding with him? Absolutely. That and was I a went. really big deal. That's intense. That's and what I'm I saying. went. Like, it was lit. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not all, like niggas will, add, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter, like, the level of seriousness because she's bringing him around family or, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it just, niggas will ask. So I'm saying, like, a nigga didn't ask me a couple months, a couple months in, like, go to a wedding, meet your whole family. <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> no. Well, so, yeah, I don't think. <sighs> so, how long do y'all wait to bring someone around for holidays? <clears throat> um, my husband. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, wait, <laughs> too old for that. You may have to meet them on accident. Yeah. I'm gonna lie. <laughs> Ooh, what are you doing literally. here? Well, You're so and so. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna say that. I, I would say uh, I'm not gonna say because they have to meet him before you marry him so i would no, say no but like you're gonna meet them because you are gonna be telling them your potential. intentions <laughs> yeah oh well um i would say at uh, at this point probably like a year year and a half damn mm. yeah it's not that deep <laughs> year and a half mm. okay you talking about to introduce or just to bring for just holidays? to introduce right introduce uh, yeah like, for, for like, introduce if they're my boyfriend um at that point, once you ask me to be your girlfriend, I'm going to probably wait like two, three months because I'm grown and yeah. I'm dating with intention. So I'm not going to hide you from my family Ex for, for a year. Yeah. The thing is, I'm very open with my mom about who I'm dating and what's going on in my dating life. So if someone asks me to be their girlfriend, I'm going to fill you out, make sure we make it over them three months. And then yeah. from there. But then even then, I'm pretty sure my mom would have an idea of them because I'm very mm -hmm. open with her in that regard. But I'm not waiting more than two, three months to. Yeah, I think introduce. I'm there, too. I, mm -hmm. Especially like, like you said, if we're dating with intention, like. I'm like, okay, this is someone that I yeah, can see myself Yeah, then I marrying. wouldn't have a problem bringing him home. Absolutely. You, go, you better come around. Your yeah. Absolutely. The holidays but only come, down, come around one, you like one really period. Have, I don't know. And we're at that time of the year where there's no new holidays after September. So, oh, well. We huh? Have, Thanksgiving? No, Christmas? Christmas. But, yeah. I'm tripping. There's, all there's a point. No, but there's a point in the year where there's no holidays, like, where you get off from work. That's what I'm thinking in my head. Mm. Like, I'm thinking of, like, federal holidays that... Uh, okay. Don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. So to answer your question, girl, you'll be all right. Pay for yourself. Yeah, well, I, think I think the mom has the question. The mom has the question. The mom and daughter definitely um, should have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Oh, yeah, like, for sure. But don't pay for no grown-ass man if you don't no, want to. Yeah, not when he yeah. has And then no. a married man at that. At yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He got the funds. He does. That's it's what I'm saying. The and at the, in a polyamorous relationship, like, there should be enough money to go around. So it's like, that's why you need to be in... That's why you, sh it has you know, to make sense financially. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, like, I would expect that like, okay, if you're in this, okay, cool. He got it. There's enough money to go around. I feel like, like to participate in that, you need to have money. You cannot be men like, you know, you middle so? class trying to be pol polygamous. No, women are, you got to take that. care of homes. Women are expecting $300 first date. So two <laughs> women. Are women? I feel like a lot of people be no, that's cap. on internet. Nobody's expecting that. Like, Nobody is expecting that. They're right. only doing it because it's trendy. It sounds yeah. cool to say you're expecting three hundred dollars a day. I believe so too, and I feel like sounds crazy too. People gotta, I don't know. I'll, we'll talk about that a different day. We so will. Some people just be capping. I'm like, what is the point? Y'all making us look bad. Y'all here just saying whatever. Like, you mean tell me if a guy asked you on the first date, you're li you're gonna sit here and rack up a three hundred dollar bill just because you're it's not. your first date? You're you don't not. know this you're man. You're not. Now, if he, if he wants to take you on a date in a night, okay, that's one thing. But for you to say my minimum spend is three hundred dollars on a date, right. I haven't heard nobody say that. Well, not on a minimum. Mm -hmm. I haven't wow. heard somebody saying like on a minimum spend like mm -hmm. first date, but I have heard like I'm not really gonna take this person serious until they have spent this amount of money on. And that's Ooh. crazy because it's like uh, uh, on <laughs> you or on the date. The date? Just them and going out like together on dates and stuff like that. Oh, okay, so, no, no, no. Not on, necessarily, on not necessarily yeah. like so, buying things. Yeah. So just she had a number and was like, whatever. Reaches I can understand her number. I can understand that in regards to like having sex with them. Huh? Yep. Uh, okay, like, that yeah. might not be my opinion, yeah. but I yeah, can no, I can understand uh, that. Sex is involved, understandable. But if you're getting to know somebody, they need to spend X amount for me to take you serious. You're not taking yourself serious. 
Yeah, no one's gonna take going. you serious. But I think taking you serious would be having sex with them, right? What are you talking I'm not about? Gonna lie, I'm, I'm kind of disagreeing. Like, I am <laughs> so We're just I, all over the place. Like, not even. I don't know. No, I'm saying like you're saying taking them serious, but for me to take someone serious, I think that that would be in the realm of like being if sexually active. You're not, so therefore, <laughs> no. If there's like a certain mm, number that date. involves that, then first date. like no one talking about first date. I, I'm just saying like if you're getting to know somebody, like having a number uh, amount you want someone to spell on you for you to take them serious, like you're not taking yourself serious and you're not dating with intention. You're yeah, playing around. Like you're a kid. Like you're a child. I'm sorry. And honestly, I'm not trying to put people down when I say that, but it's like if you're an adult and that's how you're thinking, you're not taking yourself I serious. That's so, how you get finesse and end up with literally you get finesse out your panties real be, quick. Because even when I was hearing like a guy say like, "Oh, this is the amount of money that's spent on this," because mm-hmm. because we are referencing like something that we saw yeah. where it was like women and men yeah. were like weighing into like minimum dates, and the guys who were I feel like the guys who were that I knew personally who are more saying, "Oh, this is the amount of money I spend on dates," are the guys that I know for a fact are not serious people. Like, they use their money to impress. The reason mm-hmm. they're taking on a $300 date is because they want you to be impressed so they yes. can fuck quicker. And the thing is, if you have the same mindset of, okay, I need a nigga to spend at least 2000 on me on dates before I spread, he's going to fuck you quickly where there are the guys who I know who are very relationship-minded who aren't like that and are probably going to take you on dates like, oh, let's go to Six Flags, let's do this. Let's, you know what I mean? Who probably are really trying to get to know you and it's going to take you forever to hit 2000 <laughs> Like, is it before? Is it but, so they can spread, or is it so you can take them serious? But like to me, but, it's but, like, but, I, but I think it's both. I think it's both. Even both. if we take spread off, spread off the table, I feel like a lot of guys do use their money as a bartering tool, and I feel like if you as a woman are using that same bartering tool, it's easy for you to take get taken advantage mm-hmm. of because if a guy is using, it's easy for a guy to, impress to use you. his money. Yeah, no, but, I, agree, I feel like but, the, in a sense, like people when people say that, it's because they feel like okay. I'm going to spend time and I'm not saying this is right. If I'm going to spend time and if I'm going to spread for you, I should have at least walked away with something. And I'm not saying I'm it's right with something, <laughs> but I think that's why people have that mindset. Yeah. But I mean, maybe I mean, walk but, away with your self-respect. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I mean, I don't know. But I, I think that like that amount feel, just like, what are you? I mean, but I think the rock? rhetoric like, comes from, or like life. the, where the, what we're talking about, I think it origins from like, not taking a nigga like why am I talking to a nigga who can't even buy you a burger like you asking to buy you something to eat and it's all, you all up in arms like what is I think that's where it comes from I don't think it's like mm-hmm. oh we put no. a number price on it because so and so like because niggas I've, will do I've that heard, like it's crazy like you want sex but you can't even buy me something to eat like what are you talking but about but it's crazy I feel you but it's like I fear I've heard women say these things and it's like I it's like it's an eye opener because mm-hmm. it's like dang like we're here this but we've is, also this seen, is why dating is the way it we've is we've also seen video evidence of men that refuse to pay for the date when they find out the girl's not going home I mean, with them. I, I, I've seen that too. Yeah, too. I have, so it's like... There's two sides. There's two you know, sides. Like, it's cool. it, you can't, cool. be, mad at, take you you can't be mad at the girl that's like, hey, I'm not going to take this man serious until like, maybe for them, like, money, putting money, like spending money on dates and things like that shows them that they're actually serious about them because how many how? men... Because we know plenty of men that will take a girl from... Take a different girl... Tuesday through Saturday to, to the same steakhouse. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they're all first dates. You know? So it's like, okay, if you're consecutively taking me out on dates, spending money, okay, then you can be like, you know what? He may, I got, may be able to actually take him serious. But what if, but what, what, okay, no. Mm-hmm. And it may not, I'm not, I'm not saying it even has to be like monetary for me. Like it's more so about the quality time, like us actually going out on repetitive dates. Yeah. But for mm-hmm. other women, it might have to be about that money. But I can respect that because, like I said, there are men out here that will refuse. Like, y'all will be on a date and now all of a sudden y'all are going Dutch because Literally. you say you want to be dropped off at home. That's fine. <laughs> That's never happened to me. That's never happened to me. I agree with Nikki. I, I, don't, mm. I, don't, I don't know what I would do. Like, no, it's a, no, no, like honestly, like, respect yourself. Okay, cool. No, I mean, Check. yeah, but at the like end of the day, like at mm. our age, like God yeah. damn, like you ain't ever had rejection before. Like you need, it, to, but you yeah. should not be dating. Yeah. You should not be dating uh, if your intention is to fuck only that mm-hmm. one night. You need to yeah. seek one night stands. Don't be taking people out on actual physical dates. But if that's, that's the problem with men; they be courting the pe- their little road treats. Yeah, <laughs> like, so, it don't be making treats. no damn sense. Okay, so what do y'all feel about like when you when you go out of town with a nigga? You go out of town with a nigga. Let's say that like. Obviously, if you go and at some given point, he is expecting you to spread. So are you going? Are you not going? Mind you, he done bought your flight. He done bought, like, you know, maybe gave you a couple hundred so you can prepare for the trip. You better be a big girl. If if you went through those actions and let him do all that, look, and you want to go on the trip, just know what you're, what might be 
expected yeah. of you. And it's sad, but that's that is what it is. I feel like if you're not going, if you, I'm not going out of town, I'm not letting nobody buy my ticket. I'm not fucking. Let's be real here. Like, I'm not going out of town with you just because, like, you know what I'm saying? If I'm going out of town with you, it's because, like, I want to spend quality time and be around you. Because it's like, if not, then I'm going to have the ick the whole mm-hmm. time. Like, I don't want to mm-hmm. be here. And why put myself And it that? also depends. Like, if y'all are staying in two separate places, you know what I'm saying? Then, okay, like, you That's might different. be you might be able to gauge it and be like, mm, you know what? I may not have to actually have sex with him because, like, we're in two separate areas. You know what like, yeah. th- that case may be. But if it's one room. One king bed or a California nowhere. king. Look, <laughs> not California king. Girl, you better say you on your cycle, <laughs> girl. No, that don't stop. No, that don't stop. Nothing but you a sentence, child. I said that before, sure. and he was still pissed. Girl, <laughs> you better say it. it's against my religion. And I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't even put myself in that situation. No, I, I, the thing is, I have before, and I never will again. And this, I'm like, Mm-mm, no, because I won't do it again. I would not. They could go left very fast, and I was like, thank God, I was a big girl. I was able to take care of myself. Like I didn't have to, like you know, I wasn't in no situation that I couldn't get myself out of. So it is what it is. But he was like. Oh, you're not fucking fuck you type shit. And yeah, I was like, Sheesh. people, will, people oh, will take gosh. away that that other return ticket. Yeah, and that's why I'm not. I don't. Want, I just. That's why I'm like. I will not go out of town unless we we on that level. Mm-hmm. Like I'm ready to. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just yeah. like niggas. You just people on that level, man. <laughs> Most of get the best of them. They just check, cancel your return flight. Find your way back. <laughs> you see, Future did that. And I don't know. That's toxic. That's why it's good to. You're just... not a man if you do that. You're put, like making a woman stranded. Then you don't worry you're about my well being. Right. Like you he don't even talk about, about your. Well-being. He's worried about your vagina. That Clearly, is it. <laughs> Clearly, that's all you was worried about, man. That's, that's fucked why. Up. That's so disgusting. That's fucked up. But I mean, hey, you live and you learn. Mm-hmm. So, ladies, we know we got a lot of young listeners. Stop going out and stop letting these niggas buy you, spending money yeah. on you just to get just to fuck. Like it don't yeah. mm-hmm. like if you buying your ticket unless you're ready to. Be a big girl, like Nikki said. Then just let's just cut it out, cause we're not. Cause I think like before it was cool, like oh niggas flying you out, niggas doing. It. It's not no more. We don't need niggas to fly us out. Like let's let's be real here. Yeah, and yeah. also I feel like. So how do y'all feel? Cause I've done this before. They wanted to buy my ticket. I said no, I'll buy my own ticket. And when I got there, everything was covered. You know what I mean? And I felt like yeah. it put me mm-hmm. more in control. Where I Definitely. felt like yeah. I don't have to spread. And mm-hmm. if you apply pressure, I'm still yeah. not gonna fuck you. No, so that's that's. I, yeah. I've done that before, and I had a great time doing and it. And I like think that. that's, that's a better way to yeah, do it. Yeah, because you yeah. gain control, like she said. Yeah. Like you have control of like I got myself here. I can get myself back home. Mm-hmm. I would, you know, I don't need control you. The I don't. Yeah, like that's mm-hmm. that's a good way to do it. And I, yeah, I agree with that. Why it's cool? Why I would have liked to have not spent the money in in the when it was all said and I had a great time, but it was like I liked that I had that control. confidence and that control over the situation where like if anything goes wrong like I can get myself out of here so yeah, yeah. That's but smart. I mean nigga who gonna pay for the whole trip it's a nigga who gonna pay for the whole that's that's what we that's what we want at the end of the day <laughs> we're not too good for it at the end of the day <laughs> oh shit but no, yeah I'm not too good for it. but okay we're gonna move into the petty chronicle and um I kind of, my thing is, I don't feel like I was petty, but I recently told this story to somebody and they were kind of just like, what? <laughs> so I was like, let me see how y'all feel about it. Y'all can let me know if I did too much. I feel like I, y'all have already heard this, so this may be y'all second time hearing this. So y'all gonna hear it again today. Okay, so you're gonna start off. The setting is a nightclub in Dallas, Texas. No, just kidding. So to set it off, I remember I was in a nightclub in Dallas, Texas. I was in the bathroom and I just remember getting into it with some girl over something stupid. It wasn't my fault. It was her. She had attitude for no reason. That Just remember that. So later on, I end up losing my phone that night. I end up losing my phone. And I try to, and iPhone, Apple has this weird thing where when you try to log in to find my iPhone on somebody else's phone, it tries to send you the code for you to log in through Apple Y. If I'm trying to find my, I don't have my iPhone yeah. to put the number in. So that was dumb. So that night I just canceled. I was like, fuck it, I lost my phone. The next day I woke up and I was like, Michelle, you gave up too easy. Just try. So I, when I found my iPhone, it gave me a location. So I was like, I'm going to try and on my phone down. yes it said it was some random water burger so i remember i i drove all the way to wherever the fuck it was i saw an apartment i go to the apartment and um the gates like not opening and the lady's like um oh i can't oh she calls the manager he's like ma'am i can't open the gate for you for you to do that you need to make a police report da, 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 all this bullshit he leaves and the lady calls him to the side and she's like um the back gate is open if you want to go through the back. I recently got my shit stolen, so I know how it feels, and I hope you find your phone. And I was like, thanks, queen. sis. You know, you know, thank you. We love a black girl from infinity to infinity. And you just so, like, you, you came by yourself. Came by myself. No protection. Wow. Came by myself. So, I mean, I, I walked to the back, and I have, like, um, I'm trying to figure it out. And, you know, iPhone is not completely exact. 
So it shows like a dot and it's like in between three cars. So I'm like, okay, okay, I see what happened. Y'all parked, y'all turned the phone off, and then y'all went up thinking y'all was good. You know what I mean? But so I, t- I remember taking a picture of three, because I had someone else's phone. I took a picture of three of the cars, because I'm like, it could be any of these three. I go back to the lobby to the lady, and I'm like, okay, these are the three cars. Do you know, like, whose cars these may belong to or whatever? Yeah, I'm a full, like, Inspector Gadget on these hoes. So she's like, okay, well, we haven't had parking for a long time because of COVID. You know what? Back then, they was blaming a lot of stuff on COVID that really didn't make sense, but whatever. Because of COVID, we've been letting people park anywhere, so I can try and see where is it parked. And so she gets, she pulls up like the whole resident list, and we're like looking at names stuff like that. She was like, "It could be this girl, but she has a kid. I don't think she was still. It could what? be him." Um, okay, no, she's <laughs> doing oh, a no. lot. No, no, you don't no. understand. She said she she's had just got her phone. St- she said she had just got her purse stolen. She didn't get it back, so she was like fully invested. Like we were trying to <laughs> wow. find. This was hitting together. home for her. She it was. Like... It, she was triggered. So, <laughs> she was like, "Could be him or so whatever." Because I. Would have been like, girl, put <laughs> a police report. report. Gone. She she this is not thing. in my pay grade. She was like, they're by building three. She was like, well, this is kind of far from building three. So they parked here. They must be in this building. She pulled up the residence. She was like, okay, these are people you can knock on. These are guys. So Aww. she, and I was like, but the thing is, it was at a nightclub. She was like, and I think I must have lost it in a bathroom. So I feel like it has to be a girl who has it. And she was like, yeah, the only girl who lives here is this girl. And she, um, she has a kid. She'd be, she be going out, but I don't know why she would park there. Da, da, da. So he gives me this phone. Um, all these things. I go back to these apartments, start knocking on doors. This is this this is what I realized. You know, it gets a little dangerous. <laughs> I'm knocking on the door, and this guy still remember his name. Shout out to Justin. So um, <laughs> he answers the door, and he's like, "What's up?" I'm like, um, so I lost my phone, and I was wondering if you knew the cards over there. Da da da. Fully thinking that he's just the guy who has my phone. He's just like, "No, nah, Shadi, I don't have it, but this is kind of dangerous. You can't be out here doing this." This da 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 da. I'm like, "Okay, anyway. So do you know where it is?" He's like, "Nah." He, that's the same girl. He's like, it could be her, but she got a kid. I don't think it's her. Da, da, da. <laughs> so he goes down. He's like, let me see these cars so I know who owns these cars. So he walks down with me. And when we go down, there's a car missing. And I'm like, this makes no sense. I was just here and this car was just here. Like, who, how did this person leave? And I was kind of mad because I was like, if I would have caught this person on the way out, I could have asked them, like, you know where my phone is? Da, da, da. So he was like, yeah, it's weird. So he's like, I don't know whose car this is. I haven't seen this. Like, da, da, da. And as we're talking, I'm like, that's the car right there. And I see the car driving back in. I'm like, isn't that kind of suspicious? that this car left and is already back like what did they go to do so we're watching and i was like th- and she's like oh that's oh girl that's my neighbor's car and i was like so why did she park here and then she parks like somewhere close to the apartment i was like the only reason she would have parked here is if those apartment those parking spots was filled and those parking spots must have been filled because you came in late last night oh my god yeah and he was like that's bro cool. <laughs> no he was like no like just chill it's not her she got a kid people are vouching for her what? so much i'm just like He's like, don't do it. Plus, it's dangerous. She might have a gun. You don't want to ask her. That and like, part. And in my head, I'm like, what he doesn't realize is, Justin, I came to your door <laughs> asking you. So it's like, I have no fear at this point. So I'm like, <laughs> if I could ask a whole grown-ass man, I could ask a woman. So I was like, Justin, I don't care. I, so I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to ask her politely. So I go up to her. I knock on her door. No, I even showed him the picture. I'm like, this is her license plate. That's the girl. So you know I'm not crazy. He was like, yes, go ahead. So I go, and, and I'm like, hey. And she, she was like, yeah. Doesn't want her window down. But as soon as I'm looking at her, I'm like, you're the. So you go to her car. Yes. I'm, yeah, no, you thing go, is, no, you okay, go for real. Let me tell you yeah, why. Yeah, Because at first, at first, no, no ever. Right. No, because so at first, you're able to tell this story. No, yeah, no, honestly, thank you. God is good. Because it's the crazy part. As we're talking about it, right? He's like, da da da, and I was like, she hasn't come out the car yet. He was like, yeah. I was like, that's kind of suspicious, isn't it? He was like, a little. I was like, okay. And we're still talking. I was like, it's been 15 minutes. She's still in her car. What is she doing? So if you already asked her, she said no. No, I haven't asked her yet. But that's why I'm like, no, I'm not about to ask her because she's not coming out of her car. And I yeah. was like, she's not coming out of her car because she, she sees remembers me. you. She sees me. And I had like a certain color braids. I'm like, she knows. You know what I mean? She remembers me from last night. So I was like, I'm going to ask her. So I'm not going to do it. She's like, yes, doesn't hurt window down. At this point, I'm pissed. I'm like, now you have an attitude. So I was, I was like, you roll your window down. She's like, yeah. I was like, huh? Yeah, because no, why are you casting attitude with me? Michelle, you are so bold. I don't care. So <laughs> at the time, I didn't care. Looking back, yeah, I should have. But I was like, um, I checked my phone down and said it was in his car. I, I fully did not mean to accuse her, but at this point I had nothing else to lose. I knew she wasn't gonna back down. She was I was like, she was like, Yeah, I have your phone. What? Yes. She fully said, I have your phone. And I was like, Can I have it? Can I have it? She was like, Yeah, let me go get it. And she walks upstairs. And the thing is, as soon as she starts walking upstairs, I look, I hear Justin in the background. He's like, What the fuck? <laughs> Because why was you vouching for this girl? What the hell? He was like, I'm living next door to a thief. Oh my God. <laughs> so she goes, gives me my phone, and then she leaves. She was like, Yeah, um, you left it in the bathroom. I was like, What? Then why didn't you leave it at the club? And you wow. knew, like, we, I fully saw you yeah. afterwards. What do you mean? I don't I, think she expected someone to show up. No, by I think her, by the time, like, her card. I think it was too real. She didn't know what I yeah, knew. Like, like it was too real for her. So then she, yeah, she get, and she did have a kid, and that is a felony. It's a $1,200 phone. So 
yeah, so I got my phone back. Me just chopped it up. He's like, you smoke? I was like, no, nah, I smoke. He was like, but then that's crazy. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I lived to tell the time. I got my phone back. I got not my phone back. about don't talk to strangers, but now you want me to come to your crib and smoke, smoke. huh? Wow, just no, no. I'm not going to lie, Michelle. That was bold because literally, <laughs> if a girl came to my window, talking about roll your window down, no, what the fuck do you want? You're at my window. What do you mean roll your window down? What do you want? But if I stole about? someone's phone and that person was at my still, window, yeah, I just still, still, like, at this point, I'm caught. No, yeah, still. Like, and like the police are probably on their way. No, so <laughs> roll my, well, let the police deal with me. You don't tell me to roll my window down. I'm not rolling my window down for anybody. What are you talking about? About. So my question is, was I petty for um, taking it upon myself to f- try and find my phone? That's no, because it's your phone. I think it was just dangerous. Were, that was, that dangerous. was a dangerous situation. I don't think it's petty. It's just a little... Yeah, don't do that again. I don't know. I don't even want to. I can't even say it was like not responsible. It was just like you know, like I feel like I someone could steal something from you, let him have it. Like mm-mm. I know you didn't think from A to Z. Yeah, like, I think it was like that. probably you were just probably like, like <laughs> acting on impulse. Like you know what? The let's thing, do it. The like, way things just started falling. My even yeah. I went back to the lobby and I was like, she have. He was like, she has your phone. She think. I, she thought I was gonna stay here too because she be going now, but I, she got a kid. I was like, "What, what is this kid? Mean? Like y'all no, keep saying that people mean? think people with kids are not, are no, definitely being criminals. People, people use Those their strollers the to put clothes in in a department <laughs> store. You, Why right? are we defending? I'm sorry. Let like, me tell that don't mean you. Nothing. Wow. Well, I'm glad you got your phone back. Yeah. Right? Don't yeah. lose it again, Michelle. I'm happy you're at this table. Yeah. Please <laughs> don't use it. Lose it again. Literally. We love to see, but you know, just so y'all know, the new update even. I don't it, want the thieves to hear this, so thieves cover your ears. But we know it. It's but, that you can still track it with a Yeah, with it when your off. phone is dead, it says iPhone is findable. But it's so crazy. But you like, have to turn that I feel like that's on. always been yeah, a thing because, like, when people get, like, you know, kidnapped, cell towers still ping the phone wherever it was last. No, not if when it's it was off. On, not if it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, but now, now, with update, now, can, now with the update, but you have to turn that, you have to turn that option on for it to be trackable, even if it's off. Hmm. Okay, guys, so moving forward. So did y'all hear about our friend chloe i know I, i'm still defending her because y'all people be going in on her y'all know she's having another kid with tristan but through a surrogate congratulations to chloe kardashian and tristan thompson that's all i have for them i'm sorry i <laughs> that's all i have. I'm, i don't I'll know what he had what that's kind of juju he did on her but like that's I don't crazy even think, i think honestly i don't know why like i mean i get it actually i do get it like but i just the whole like wanting have all your kids by the same I think exactly. that has a hold on her she's the one more than her baby mama but yeah you're still a baby she's mama a baby more mama. than her her actually wanting to be with him I think she just wants all her kids by the same man like because I also feel like we we said it last week when you deal with sorry not last week the week before when you deal with a certain like status of men you just have to accept certain things and I think she this is what she's accepted and she's okay with it I feel like she feels like even if she moves on okay but Maybe you know what the crazy the part is? It's like, is, is Tristan on? That's all, and that's what I was going to say. Like, like, I get what we're he's saying. An athlete. He's, no, I get what we're saying, but Chloe made, his, athlete. Chloe made his status. Let's she be honest. Like, like, but he's a professional athlete at the end of the day. So whether it's him or somebody else, it's the, it's the same thing applies, is what I'm no, saying. I'm I don't sorry, think no, in that no. case. He ain't got much left time in the league. That's what I'm saying. So last week, we were talking about someone who literally, like, they clearly have a higher status than the other person. But we're talking about two people that are like might be in the spotlight, but one who's way, way, way more well known. Chloe definitely made Tristan who he is today yeah. and made him as popular as he is but today. But what I'm saying and is he's not he's mentioned in, without Chloe. W- without but what I'm saying is even if she was to date somebody, if you could pick a celebrity today, what she knows that if I date a man of a certain status, I'm going to get a certain thing. And that's why I'm okay. like, I feel like it's for her, it's not a big deal to stick with Tristan because it it's like, you don't no. deal with the same thing. No, you might get no. a certain thing, but no. I think you can also have a certain level of respect. Yeah. No, because my thing is with Tristan. <laughs> Tristan, you know you're dating the Kardashians. My thing is the Kardashians, they have the media, the industry, the blogs. Everybody's Unlock. on their payroll. Like, there is nothing that gets leaked from the Kardashians that they don't know about beforehand. So when you're dating somebody like that, you don't think that before you go to court and submit a statement, in a courthouse, you should run it by your girlfriend or your child's mother. I feel like that lack of respect, because you knew that was going to hit. Them finding it out through the press before finding it out through him, I think, was her sign to leave. Because that nigga will tarnish your whole reputation. his last baby? His la- uh, well, the new one that's on the way. Like, he had, like, a paternity test lawsuit. He didn't tell her about that. You issued a whole statement statement saying that you were sleeping with well, this he had girl. another girl? It's the girl. Oh, the same, same one. She already had the baby. Oh, she had the baby. Oh, she okay, had the baby? Yeah. That's what, yeah, yeah that's what so, to about. me, I'm kind of just like... 
that level of disrespect is like dumb because I feel like everyone else fucks up but everyone at least knows especially when yeah. you're in the public eye yeah. to keep it in house like yeah. you know what I mean when you make those kind of There's fuck ups and you're you going move. to court and you yeah. have that coming up you owe it to the your the mother of your child I don't know if they were dating at the type a simple heads up is necessary so that kind of blinds being blindsided like that I don't know if Chloe doesn't deserve that but I think she it was around it. the same and time I, it says that the ba- it says that the surrogate she's getting a surrogate that the surrogate that she went through um, was conceived not conceived around the same time but Basically, it was too late. By the time the girl had the baby, the baby had already been conceived for her surrogate. So it was just was like, I'm going to have to wait to do the math. And, yeah. it, and, it, and yeah. if the math masks that way, whatever. But I, I feel like her that's... need to, I understand, okay, you want both of your children to have yeah. the same dad. I get it. But if that lady was not pregnant when this shit came out and you still chose to have a baby by him after mm-hmm. all the things that he did to you, your want to have the same baby daddy yeah, it's, should yeah, override yeah. should override anything Absolutely. that that man has done for you. And I will be doing the math. Absolutely, because I just feel like because no, I, yeah. I I like I understand, but it's the same time as just like I don't understand. What you gonna tell your kids like that? That's like you send your kids up to have like to resent you a little bit because it's like what is going on here? Like it, you wanted us to all have the same dad, so you just disrespect yourself but publicly are, it's, but their whole family's kind of doing that. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like that's what Kylie's doing with Travis. Mm-hmm. I definitely feel oh, like that's what Kim I, did with. Uh, Kanye, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. and I feel like that's a hundred percent what Courtney, Courtney did with Scott. So yeah. Pete, Pete wants a Pete Courtney's wants a pregnant. Girl alleged. Pete wants a child. Pete is such a bad bitch. If, <laughs> if Kim has gets a surrogate to have a baby with this man, oh my gosh, I'm done I'm with her. Like ugh. done. Kim, Kim Kardashian. Yes. Oh, she better be done. Yeah, she better be done. No, Pete said he wants another child. Who's Pete? Pete wants child support. He playing a long game. Period. Um. <sighs> yeah, I don't I know what I was gonna say. When I say I get it. I get it, like, if he went in all that bullshit, right? Mm-hmm. So and if he I, wasn't in all that bullshit? I feel like if he yeah, wouldn't have yeah, put her through yeah, all that yeah, bullshit, yeah, yeah. and they amicably broke up, and she's like, hey, you know, like, we already have a kid together. I, I, yeah. I get That's what I get. Yeah. yeah. But but what I don't get is the actual circumstances of everything that has happened. But so. I get it, but, like, if they broke up, like, you can't go date someone else and establish a connection and bring a kid through love. Like, I'm sorry. Like, y'all, we live in a different generation now. Y'all, we well, don't keep just having kids. Just First of what? all, I mean, but they're not fucking. They're true, but no. having surrogates. So I get it, them, but like, it's, it's child's play. I True, but it's like, I just don't oh, understand why you're fucking. choosing him. Yeah, she's easily still she getting still fucked fucking. by Tristan because... I'm just saying, this though, is a little like, aggressive. Sorry. The option sorry. to have the I'm baby sorry. for them is, no. is not like, oh, let me try. Like, let's just... I just don't understand why she... I, I honestly just feel like I mean, I get it, but it's like, you can meet anyone else and have the yeah. same process. you can. But to take so. myself out of, like, the judgmental person I tend to be, especially when it comes to the Kardashians, I can understand Chloe wanting to have kids that are close in age and just using Tristan as a sperm donor yeah. to achieve that fact. If that's what it is, I, then, At I this mean, point, I think that's what it is. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I think that, like, in her head, maybe, and this is, like, we can't even blame her because, like, in her head, it's like, bro... If I get with another, day, she's probably thinking mm-hmm. because of what she's been through. It doesn't make it right, but like in her head, it's just like, bro, if I get with somebody else, it's gonna be the same thing. I might as well just go with somebody who I know is a great father at the end of the day. If he's not shit, he's a great father to her. She said that multiple times that he's a good father. So, I mean, shit, it is what it is. I think that's what she's thinking. I think she's there. only, yeah. she's able to make these decisions because she's privileged. At the end of the day, yeah. she's able Real to, life, no one does this. She's able to afford a surrogate, she's able to take care of a child. For eighteen years, mm-hmm. thirty years, With, well by herself, a partner, yeah. you know. So it's like yeah. she's just looking for a sperm donor. I feel like yeah. at this point, you, you want a nigga with three, two other baby mamas. Yeah. I it's unfortunate because, like I said last episode, Courtney, um, Chloe Kardashian was one of my favorite Kardashian. It's just it sucks to see what she's putting herself through. Like she's actually putting herself through this. Yeah. Like it's not life dragging her in it. So she need to get her a white man, bro. Get away from the black man because they're dogging you, sis. Try a white like man. A, Go like the way Courtney went. Basketball game. What I said. <laughs> Leave the other way, Courtney went because low key they playing it, the fuck at you. It's a black it. man by force. Thank Courtney. you, Chloe. It is because they want. I think the problem is it's like y'all are dating, y- y'all are dating black men, but it's like y'all aren't y'all don't have the discernment to see why they're dating yeah. you. Yeah. Your DNA is not matched for it. Like it's, like, like, it's like, like it's like it's kind of like how people say like <laughs> how like you know I for who was having a conversation with, with about how like uh, people Please dating uh, Nigerian oh man. Oh my it's god! Like, I knew you was gonna go not, like some people. You don't have the hats. <laughs> <laughs> it's for we, guys like we me. We just had this conversation. The one who like, would do 
the same shot out okay. of him. Or even be able to peep. Like, something is just like, bro, like, I know he's just doing you, yeah. your, your head yeah. in. Like, Literally. I can oh see it. Oh, my God. Yeah. I can see it, but it's like, I can't tell you, you know, or explain to you. And it's like, the only person who's going to be able to have the strength. Like, for instance, like, you're about man. A you're about woman can handle it. You're about man. Can. And that's just what and it is. Can. <laughs> and they can. And even women they can. can. Even man. And we can. And sometimes it just is what it is. And sometimes, yeah. like, if you're, some people are able to, like, mix and I sound really tribalist I don't mean to but sometimes <laughs> I feel like there's people who are like can kind of peep game but sometimes like if you're green it's like you're just gonna get lost oh, in and I just feel bad for the green I'm just like Ooh, and you know cause the green the and green you be go. green the green be lime green bitch <laughs> and you're Girl, gonna go for the a green be lime green seeing a whole different image like <laughs> And the picture's gonna, right here. I'm like, do you like, know who that man is? No, do you? Huh? Do you know who that man is? Like, <laughs> I, the rides that they're taken for, I <laughs> no, really Nikki, feel let's bad. Let's talk about when we went to Nigeria, the lady we met. We, me and Nikki were looking at her like, sis, 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 come back here. I <laughs> wanted to tell her you to, need to be careful for your book her flight <laughs> oh, no, literally back, back to America. To America. So I said, you're not doing this right. Like, I'm moving here. I'm like, you left your job. Do you even know? And then a what? whole, uh, a whole um, prison guard... I'm like, you should know better. You should. Like, you should be able to peep bullshit a mile away. This woman, we were watching her green a day. We were just looking at her like, she already sent him money. Every I Yeah, was she like, was sending oh him money. Oh, yeah, we're going to some celebrate. I'm like, are y'all getting married? Like, you don't even know no, what y'all doing. Lie. Are you not asking questions? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Hey, just... A lot of people be on some 90 Day Fiance shit. A lot of people. A lot of people. On, it's, it's normal to people, like, just uh, uh, getting married frivolously. It's funny like, as you said that because want, one of her like, girlfriends moved there the year before so she was trying to get her to come out there is that why yeah, you're dating him a lot of people but I, like we said I just think that as you get older like I don't know if it's I'm gonna say you create a fantasy but like your know. standards just become like a little bit more you know you got you get a little, little bit less like um, heinous on like what you what you accept and what you I don't know like it just I don't becomes know. a fantasy I don't know I don't, it's I don't like know. the older you get the more you ex- the, the more shit you just kind of like let slide because you just some know like get. a lot some requires people. energy so if I'm going to give my energy to this I'm not going to give my energy to too much because it just requires but a I, lot I just, I'm sorry but some of those people on 90 Day Fiance y'all don't even speak the same y'all, language y'all be literally using packed your things and to moved go off back vibes. and forth oh that's unacceptable <laughs> like that one episode I watched and I was like oh, you yeah. can't read no. you can't read her face at least read the room this woman is disgusting <laughs> <laughs> she is how disgusting oh my god how disgusting with you and you're still like why don't you we have sex <laughs> <laughs> like, I can tell you. You don't need to change that. Like, even last season, sexy time. Like that's all y'all know is sexy time. Like y'all can't have real relationship, and like you're having a whole traditional way. But I'm like, they're the only ones that I feel like they're the real, the realest couple on last season. Oh yeah, because all the Who? others. Hamza, Remember the guy. Hamza, Memphis, Remember the guy with the Memphis. hat. They weren't real. It's still to be determined no, who her baby be the, father oh, yeah, is of that baby. Okay. That was <laughs> weird when she said, "Oh, I have something to tell you." I I slept at a house. I'm like, why are you still dealing with? Okay, y'all, so just to kind of reel it back, I know we kind of talked about women that have been doing crazy things for men. Oh, my God. And I really do want to talk about this. And y'all might know her name, but... I don't. For sure. Yes, in oh Blueface. God, please. So we know that, which I might not know. How did originally, how did her tooth come out? In a fight. In a fight. Okay. So originally her tooth behind came him. out... Allegedly. What? Came out in a fight behind him. And for months, she didn't have a front tooth. I think she didn't year. have... Year two. or a year. The, year? the thing or is, he got her half. one. She just keeps. She just didn't no, want to keep it in. No. So he got her one, but then he said that ever since she got a new tooth, she's been acting brand new. Enemy of progress. And so she was like, "Well, baby, I'm not acting brand new." She took her new tooth out, like on camera. On camera, screwed that hoe yeah, out. Can we, this is just. <laughs> but then she turned around and got a new tooth, but now his face is on it. On the tooth. On the tooth. <laughs> Love will make you do <laughs> No, it's, it's getting cold. What? hand embarrassment. Like, I just don't, I don't even like hearing her name. What I do we do like, at this point? Nothing. I, I think Take us out the chat. We don't do anything. Like, it's that's actually, just, like I said, it's another, it's, it's another situation not, where I'm just sad that a woman is allowing, a, like, what is going on? The thing is, she's really young and because I don't know why I was very impressionable I, re- too. I watched some video on her because apparently, like, she's been through a lot. Like, she was on mm-hmm. Ultimate Tag, like, some competition show. I don't know if y'all, I've never heard of it, but she won it, like, a while ago and she was, like, really in the public eye at one point and she was, like, in a public relationship with some guy for, like, four years. He ends up leaving her, taking on her money. Research. 
Okay, Calhoun. No, because I literally was just, uh, I was on a long thing. Like, I mean, but yeah, I feel, Michelle, I yeah. feel you. So, yeah, because I was just like, what the hell? It was like a rabbit hole. Like, I don't understand because everyone's always like, oh, she didn't, used to, she didn't used to sound like this. I was like, how she used to sound? She just sound completely different or whatever. Mm. And she was like innocent. She went through a really re- bad relationship and she came out of it a whole different person. And I think that a lot of that's the things sad. that I'm seeing in like her relationship and how she responds to like the antics that's going on, it just feels like it's like coming from like a place of trauma, a place of like, you know, feelings of like abandonment like Mm -hmm. from her family like relationships and so I don't judge her as much because it's clear to see I judge more blue because he's taking advantage of that a lot of things he does in the public I even saying like since you got that tooth this and that like the public knowing what he's gonna do you know like it's just too much for me so it's like I just feel sorry for her more than anything I really do because even when like he spit her mouth on camera I'm like wait why would you do that that's not for camera I mean but (laughs) it's not I'm gonna say this and I'm not gonna talk about it again but there was a point in time where, like he was not fucking with her. Like she stole one of his cars. He was saying how much he did not fuck with her. He's and, lying. and then everyone was like, Well, we know that now. And everyone was like, She needs to leave him alone. She's crazy. And then when she went back, he was fucking with her. Literally, as soon as she got back to the to California after stealing that man's car and going to jail, she was right back with him. They were spotted in public. And it's like, bro, like she's actually not crazy. This man wow. is actually fucking He's with really, her. So it's yeah. like, y'all gotta stop saying girls is crazy. No. These men are still messing around with these girls. I feel like these like men are crazy. Oh, no, for they're sure. crazy. They're both He's a weirdo. Psychopaths. <laughs> they're, like something is yeah. off with both of them. I don't know. It's. I just hope that she gets the help that she needs, or maybe he can leave and, her alone, like and, grow up. Because I can't I wait just, for the the whole era of like social media to die out. Because I feel like a lot of people are in these pointless and useless relationships because staying trendy to be trendy on Instagram and stuff and like go viral. Yeah, I think and at stuff. this point it's a game it, for them. It's and it's crazy. Yeah, it's a definitely it's your a game life. for them. I actually think they're in love. That's I think a job. So too. Yeah. I think no, I think, I, I think so too, but I also think that Love's what's story. fueling them is the, the attention. Yeah, mm-hmm. and the yeah, money, for sure. Because there's some people that like them together. It's comical. Yeah, I feel, uh, I feel like they're uh, equally yoked. I'm not going to lie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but moving forward, Brittany Griner. Mm-hmm. She pled guilty. What are y'all's thoughts? I, have I mean, most she people, had no choice. Yeah, most people, they made, they made it no choice for her. Because yeah. okay, I've been in some conversations where people are like, "It's fucked up what she's going through, this and that," and like, of course it is. It's very fucked up to be. She's been in prison in Russia for a minute. I understand that, but at the same time, I do understand when you do go to other countries, you are supposed to research what you can and cannot do. And it's like people are basically saying that Russia basically should never arrested her. But it's like you have marijuana in your cartridges. That's not allowed. Um, but and. I read this. I don't know. They could have been lying, but apparently there's other people who had less than what, more than what she had and they were fined and let go. Like according to mm-hmm. Russian law, the amount that she had, she should not have been arrested. It's definitely giving like, this is a high, pro- high profile individual. Yeah. We are in the middle of the war and the United States is assisting our enemy. Yeah. I, and that's literally what it comes down to because the amount that she had, she should have just paid a ticket and left. Mm-hmm. Not only that, so. she, but would y'all really be doing that in the middle of a war? No. Nope. I mean, but y'all she was nope. trying to leave there because the war was a happening. I know, but would y'all be like, but let's not act like she just was a visit. She plays for Russia. No, she, and I know that, but would you, knowing what was going on, the turmoil between the two countries, bro, I don't when think you're leaving, she knew that was going to happen. Like, come on now. She like, if she's been in Russia she for it. how many years at a time and this is what she does on a regular basis, like, yeah. they were, she was a target. Let's be real. She was a target for sure. Like, again, I think that, like, she knows, but again, after being there for so long, mm-hmm. like, you just, she, she's got caught in the crossfires and it is what it is. She shouldn't have got arrested for it and they're using her as collateral. You think this would have happened to LeBron? Uh, no, way. I don't know. I don't think, think they would have kept I think him. They, he would have been home by now. Yeah, you yeah, saw ASAP sure. Rocky was home in like seven days. <clears throat> yeah. For sure, I think that he would have. Even if they would have, he would have been home by now for sure. But then it's hard to say. I don't know. Yeah, then again, you don't know, and he's yeah, black. Because I'm not going to lie. I think lie. it's just because of, like, the, the Russians are scary. So. I think it's just right now because mm-hmm. of like it's yeah. up in the air because of what's going on. Maybe at any other given time, I would say like it probably wouldn't. But then they out. they uh said that they would do a trade, but the person who they want to trade back is dangerous as fuck. Yeah, he's probably a war criminal. They said he's a a, a person who sells like arms, like guns and stuff like that. Oh, they no. want to trade yeah, him I think for money. No, no. Didn't he he's do like armed robbery or he's something? He's the last <laughs> missing piece to the puzzle. <laughs> no, but no, literally, sorry. he will take that war to the next one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <but Brittany, laughs> no. You shouldn't even ask for that. Like, like no, I would not want that on my back. Like, no. you trade me out for somebody like this, and the next Is thing you Brittany know. the one that asked for that? No, but I'm saying, like, like I wouldn't, imagine I wouldn't even agree to that. I'll be honest with you. If I knew what kind of person it was, like. Yeah, I don't think she had anything to do Next thing you know, there's a top. A nuclear bomb being dropped. Yeah. They already said America. the United. They already said the United Ooh. States is not approving that trade. So yeah. sorry, because yeah. yeah. they know that he's the missing piece to <laughs> the puzzle. They just let home, um, sent home a veteran who, where he was like in jail for like three years. So mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, she had no choice but to plead guilty because it was going to take her ass through the ring. Bro, we go, yeah. You go to trial and you lose, you in here okay. for good. You in here for good. No, yeah, she, she she knew, she no had telling to. how the jail is out there. But not the prison just out that. There. Like, what if they... She, she's facing up to 10, 10 years. years. I don't think she's going to get up to 10. She's probably going to get time served. Yeah. Time served in Russia? No, I need no. the U.S. to start on, the, <laughs> on a I'll plan. I'll with y'all. They're going to have huh? to break her out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, no. but damn. A black ops mission. Something. No, literally, that's I. I think they're gonna give her time, and it's really unfortunate, but I really do think they are. I, I hope they. They're don't. gonna try to make a lesson that. out of her. Yeah, they are. Who's African? I just did that. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? But no, it was me. Um, <laughs> all right, y'all. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over into the topic. Um, it's gonna be an interesting one. What I really want to touch on is the things that men do so unprovokingly. And so to kick it off, um, I want you guys to share a story of when a man unprovoked made plans with you. So he went out of his way to hit you up like, hey, what are you doing on Friday or what are you doing tomorrow? And you're like, oh, nothing. He's like, OK, cool. I'm going to make plans. I'm going to set the time. I'm going to get back to you later with the details. And then he just don't don't pop up with the details. It doesn't have to necessarily be that exact scenario either. But just a situation where like somebody he promised you something or made plans with you and then just crumbled it. And it's like, why did you even ask me? Mm-hmm. Um, what was the reason I remember like when I was looking getting trying to get a dog this guy promised oh. to get me a a poodle like Damn. actually spent some literally money talk, didn't he ask you literally, what your Zelle and cash out was at, oh y'all y'all men really huh. I even it's so sad I don't even do this but it's like the conversations we're having it just seemed like it's happening y'all I said my Zelle asked me to this day July 13th have I received any funds for any poodle no and this man has that's look me dead in my eye every time I see him Hello, where's my dog? <laughs> Where is my dog? Can't take you. Was this before or after? What do you mean, your dog? Girl, before. Oh, that, so like he was, ta- he was dragging his feet, so I had to yeah. take the Christmas route. To oh my name? gosh! Even then. did you ask for the dog, or he offered? He found. We were talking about dog. I was holding a corgi, oh, and I was okay. like, "I'm actually about to get a dog." He's like, "Oh, what kind of dog? I'll get it for you." I'm, you know, oh, I wow. should have known. Okay, I'm you're so say, eager. I had a conversation eager. with somebody and I was like, can you give me a dog? And no, he said, that, Remember, yeah. that's what I was but telling it never you. Came. That's why I was like, I, I, had to, I wanted to know like, <laughs> who at, like he unprovokingly. Yeah, girl, you guys will do that just to like get you in their mm-hmm. inbox. No, <laughs> till this I day. Mean, that's definitely happened to me. And it's so weird because you'll see them out again and they will act like nothing, nothing happened. happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like men in black yeah. lights. <laughs> like, if you hey. do that, I'm acting like you don't, I'm acting no, like nothing happened either. No, you oh, don't I exist to me you. anymore. Mm-hmm. Period. I really do. Like, I, at this point, you've been I feel blocked. like that's embarrassing. You've been everything. Uh-uh. So, I take you out of my mind. Period. And they'll be like, why are you acting like that? Da, da, da. What do you mean? You stood me up. Like, literally. Damn. See? I ain't never been in no tight situation like that, though. What, I, what was the situation? Well, you know how someone like pursues the hell out of you? Like they're bending your phone. Hey, mm. I want to take you out. Mm. This and that. Da 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 da. And like you might have been talking to somebody else at the time or whatever, just not really paying them that much attention. But now finally you have their you have their time, whatever the case may be. And it's always the men that you're like, Ooh, why did why you get my attention? Do like, <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. I've never <laughs> but, like it's happened to me, but I've never like felt strongly about it like i just toss it over my shoulder like i didn't give a fuck type shit no because like, i feel like at this point I like, like now that I'm, I'm like you, you know you're so, dating it's like you know like why did you stop me why did you we have such a good conversation why did you pretend this vibe why did you put on a facade of a vibe you i know? feel like at this point it's you, like just a play me it is what it is y'all okay i'll tell y'all about a situation for me <laughs> oh my gosh it's actually crazy so i had a guy that when i tell y'all like he pursued me so hard, like was taking me on like dates, flying me out, all these different things. OK. And. There was a point where he asked me to be in a relationship. I said I wasn't ready yet. Mm-hmm. So he said, OK, I understand. Like, I'm gonna give you some time. Da, 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 da. A couple weeks later, he brought it up again. And I was like, I'm just not ready yet. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I haven't heard from that man since. What do you want me to do? Keep I mean, talking thank to you? you. Yeah, <laughs> like, I'm confused. Like, but no, it's like, he knows his worth. No, thank you. <laughs> He's like, why am I wasting Why would time? I waste the time You're with not ready a girl who, who denied me I twice? I understand your side. I understand your side whole, wholeheartedly. 
but yeah, Satan's okay. human being. Like he yeah. wants a relationship and you don't. You don't. Y'all, y'all, y'all are not on the same page. That doesn't fit the bill. But some people. But I would have eventually wanted. But some people don't want to hang around. No, you don't want right now. So why would I stick with you? Yeah, they want it right now. Nikki, that doesn't fit the bill. He doesn't have to continue to pour into you until you want to be chased a little. No, I just wanted to date and get to know each other more. Like it only been three months. That's a long time in the grown world. Well, I think what happened is you were dating and happened to find a guy you liked, and he started off intensely dating. Yeah, mm-hmm. like it's so, like mm-hmm. if y'all both were like working up to it, this yeah. would have been fine. But it's the fact that like he mm-hmm. was like, yeah, he, y'all were on <laughs> different paces. Because to him, think about it, like you took this. He's probably trying to get married. He's like, this girl even made it to get into a relationship, and I'm, my mind is on marriage. So like y'all just weren't. Yeah, y'all were yeah. two different paces. I had a nigga like so <clears throat> he asked me for my number. On like a random Sunday fun day, we were texting or whatever. And then he was like, okay, like, let's go out. And I'm like, all right, cool. I when I say I let it roll off my shoulder, when the day came, nothing. And I was the thing is, it like I I don't it, again, it rolled off my shoulder. I didn't really give a fuck. Cause it's I was, almost like I'm these men anyways. want us to like remind them of the plans that they made. Mm-hmm. But I, it's so weird because he literally was just kept saying, like, oh, like I I, I want to link up, I want to link up, I want to link up. Like, and I was like, I finally was like, all right, cool, like, let's link up. I leave on, I'm only in town for this many days. I leave on this day. Perfect. Okay, cool. Tomorrow around this time should work. Cool. I said I never heard from him. I had never heard from him. And the thing wow. is, again, it rolled off my shoulder. I didn't give a fuck because I was like, I already was just like, am I going? But like, if I cared, it would just be, what, why did you do this? Like, you literally, you you came up to me and asked me for my number. I was trying to act like you want to be this vibe. You want to be this. You want to do this. You want to you take me here. You want to take, and then all of a sudden, now it comes down to it. I think niggas like hearing themselves talk for mm-hmm. real because like, what was the reason? They like the mm-hmm. idea of mm-hmm. wanting to link up with you, but they won't. And I know y'all were saying, like, when stuff like that happens, like, y'all let it roll off or you just act like you don't see them in public. But for me, like, I had a situation like that happen where a guy, like, asked me on a date. We planned for the day and everything. The day, Y'all know how people say if you don't hit me up the day before or the day of at a certain it's time, dead. like, it's dead? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much what happened, right? But the, the thing is, he was actually texting me that day. And I'm like, I, you've asked me out. That's I'm not crazy. going to bring up what time are we meeting because mm-hmm. it was... It's your plan. It was already kind of just, like... After I watched the game, like, let's go out and grab drinks. So it's kind of just like, until you're done with that, like, what are we going to do? He's actively texting me. And I'm just like, I'm not going to bring it up. So I left it alone. But then the next day he's texting me. And I was, you know what? Actually, why? I said, what happened to our date yesterday? <laughs> oh, I got busy. And I was like, I'm good why on you because you why did you even crazy. ask me? And if you got busy watching the game, and, and the game did that, run late, like, just say, yeah, hey, I know we were that. supposed to go to the bar, but the game got off late. It's super late for us to go out on our first day to grab drinks. Let's reschedule. But the fact that you said nothing and you were texting me to me, I was like, bro, I'm off of you. And I'm glad I said something because it was really bothering me because I'm just like, bro, like, what was the reason? You what was the reason? You want to text me, act like nothing's wrong? Exactly. You're a weirdo. It be that. That's the disrespect. You are a weird yeah. But my question to y'all is, okay, so you said, like, at a certain point, you're not going to go regardless. So let's say you have a date scheduled for eight. At what time will you, like, hang that date up if you haven't heard from him? That morning. Mm. Oh, I'm, I'm not, not going to lie. Like, I'm... That morning. It depends on the person. I'm not going to lie. Like, if it's... No. We never have hung out oh, or yeah. something like that, then I'm off of it. But if we've hung out before... At what point, like, though? Um, if you don't hit me up, I'm not getting ready. Yeah, <laughs> by the time I, I start getting ready, five, five I thought like by yeah. noon because the afternoon is quick. So like by noon, if we're not really talking about nothing, like hey, yeah, we're still on for this evening at like you know like if I don't hear that, yeah, y'all, we gotta yeah, reschedule. No. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie for me. Five. You're in competition with everyone else because like if someone else hits me up that same day <laughs> yeah, that and part. it's like, mm-hmm. hey, are you free around seven? And I haven't heard from you. I, I am. am. No. As far as I'm concerned, I, I definitely had a guy do that. He was like, around six o'clock, are you getting ready? No. no. I didn't hear from you. And he mm-hmm. went, the fuck off. No. Why is he going we, off, though? We, like, I, was, I, I didn't even know his name. Fumbled. I'm like, I'm going back and fuck with so I don't even know your. Anyways, yeah, he went off. I was like, mm. wow. I, like, but no, you didn't say anything. That, like, right. you literally didn't say anything. Mm. So, so why would I be getting ready? So, what if they hit you up, like, okay, so what if at 8 p.m. they hit you up, like, 8.05? And sorry. they're like, oh my gosh, I am so sorry. Like, the date's over. Something happened. Like, it, it's a valid excuse. Would you still go on the date? No, no I won't go we're on the date. We're going to have to reschedule. I, I would have to be like, you we're know what? I'm sorry that happened. However, we're going to have to reschedule. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, what are we doing? It's already. Good. Eight gonna turn into ten, then twelve just, fucking hours. And by now. ten, all the restaurants are already closing. It's like, what so. are we really and it, doing? And it's, it's pushing late night hours. Yeah, but it's crazy because I seen a TikTok and a girl was pretty much saying she was like, if a guy hits you up like at the last minute to hang out, she's like, you need to tell them no. So that she was like, because you don't want to seem available. Not like yep. you're even trying to play games, but she was like, I'm not a last minute person. She was like, so I came to your mind last minute or somebody else canceled mm-hmm. on you and you want to do something. She was like, so if a guy hits you up trying to do something on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So those are my busy hours where I should be out living my best life. She was like, you'll hear from me on Monday. Yeah. Yeah. No, I wasn't available, but we can go out at the end of this week. And I was yeah. like, damn, I'm going to have to note that down. And even whenever girl, I am right. available, y'all, I have got texts oh, like yeah. seven o'clock, like, hey, are, no. you want to do something tonight? Mm-hmm. And I'll be like, you know what? I'm busy. And by being in my bed, like, this. No, <laughs> no, no
Yeah. Carisha had went busy. live. Not it was a while ago, but she went live. She was like, "Listen, when I be on the phone with my nigga, she's like, I always make it seem like I'm busy and unavailable." She talking about a nigga talking about what you doing? Oh, cleaning the whole house. She's talking about I be in my bed sleep. <laughs> like girl. make it seem like I'm just doing a lot when it's just like I'm not. I'm, I'm just not. not available to you. No facts, facts, facts. That's important. Yeah, yeah. no. You don't want to be too available. Last person. Yeah, no. No. Yeah. You do not. And I also hate reserving time for people because it's easier. Because my thing is, even if you do have an unfortunate event where something comes up, it's easier for me to digest that if I didn't cancel plans for you. Yeah. Like if I'm already out and you're like, oh, I'm running a little late, it's easy for me to be like, oh, no mm-hmm. problem. And I really don't feel any kind of way because my you're time is out. occupied. But if I'm actually getting ready and you text me some shit like that, I'm going to be so, and I'm, I can't fuck with you. And even though it's an easy mistake, Bro. I'm but not going to fuck with you no more. So would you cancel plans for your main? Like, he's just a main. For a new guy? No, what? No, he's a main. But he's a main, but you know, he might might be on some bullshit. Mm-mm, never know. No, we don't cancel plans for main people. Mm-mm. That's why no. he's main. Yeah. Wow, you're new. You can yeah, pick a number. You're new. <laughs> you can pick a number. We can schedule something before yeah. I hang out with the main. That's what I yeah. think. Yeah. yeah. I, would, I, would I, I put them both thing. in the same day. Even yeah. then. Yeah. Even if we have yeah. plans, if the main calling, yeah, it's <laughs> over. Canceled. Sorry. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> no, but I was going to ask, like, why do y'all feel like it's such a big deal when, like, when um like if a guy was to kind of like cancel on you or like just like not follow through the day of like for me it's because like i feel like a lot goes into me putting on makeup like bro this is a you know how much makeup costs like a face now they charge what 150 for faces like mm-hmm. come on now i'm not mm-mm. some days i don't even want to put on makeup so it's the fact that yeah. i've even went out of my way to like completely and that get ready effort. for you oh you know, my gosh that takes effort y'all Time i'd be sitting hair. on my bed one, whenever I got oh stood God. up, I was literally on my bed like <laughs> pouting, <laughs> full face, yeah, hair I, done. I, I, I was like, yeah, that, that's a lot of work. How dare he? Um, no, that is a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> and first of all, why, what do you take me for? Like, why are you playing Thank with you. me? Like, you're just going right. to get a second chance. Like, I'm no, bitch, you're not. I'm going to make Period. you wait three or four weeks. Like, huh? three or four years. Years. I'm going to make you wait forever. <laughs> you want a second, I'm not you want a second you. chance. Now you're going to have to spend 300. Yeah, no facts. Oh, yeah. Now we got to tap. What old girl say? Yeah, not a tap. Double that. Appetizers, drinks. Dessert. Tower. Oysters. I want Surf and turf. With the Put that on the <laughs> Now I need a three hundred dollar. Now and I need you a need an Uber me there in a black. <laughs> Look, fuck is you talking about? I want a gold cr- crusted tomahawk at this no, point. I need my steak coming out of a briefcase. Okay. No. I want a stamp. <laughs> <laughs> I want a stamp on my steak. No, fuck you say. talking about? <laughs> um, I think for me, I, even even outside of dates, even when it comes to hanging out with friends. I don't like last minute shit. I'm yeah. a planner. So yeah. it's, and I have this one guy, he always, hey, we doing, let's go out. Not today. It's never going to be today for me. Like, it just yeah. never will be because mm-hmm. I, I really am a planner. I like to plan stuff. I don't like last minute shit. Like, I will, for, I try to force myself to do last minute shit, but I'm a planner. Yeah. Y'all know. Really it's not known in advance. I'm not, I'm not, not a last minute I'm person. the complete opposite. Like, I can no. do last minute stuff. Like, and I, and I enjoy that. I feel like that's when you have the most fun sometimes, you know? It's like, I've had yeah. to work up yeah. into stuff. So it's like last minute, you, uh, you're you probably going to get a no. no it, the thing is, it I, depends, it, it depends, I'm going to say, it depends on my mood. I will do last minute shit. But nine times out of ten, I like being at home chilling. Yeah, you can't call me yeah. when I'm in a slumber or watching TV. Like watching a good show. Like, right. you want to like, what? No. <laughs> yeah. I have to prepare for outside. That show's like, going to be there much. when you but come no, back. But no, but it's like, yeah. but one thing, one thing I've like, I'm glad I've mastered. Like, I'm sorry. Like, when you're just still and at peace, I'm sorry. Like, I'm not about to, I'm not about to like throw that away just to go have drinks and hang. No, like, yeah. being at peace is fun. I'm sorry. Like, okay, because you don't really get time to yourself like that. So, I feel you got take advantage, right? Especially if you don't, right? especially if you don't know if it's gonna be a vibe you or not. What, especially if you don't so know many, if it's gonna be a vibe. And you know, it's crazy. Though, only you know the t- restaurant. You don't know. This might be your first time meeting yeah. the guy. Girl. You don't know the city. No, it would mm-hmm. never be no. la- last minute. Would never be with someone. That you're just no, hanging yeah. out with but the first know, some time. Some people do that, if but last nah. minute would be like someone I've been hanging out with multiple times. No, because sometimes it may just be a force, and it's like, why did I even come out? Yeah. But you I had pre- nothing planned. You just wanted to see me. What? Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, I, no hate I hate those. Like nothing on the, on the menu nothing, but vibes. Nothing. And I'm not here. No, I was vibing already. Like no. So where you? House. So where you want to go? Well, I was at home chilling. That's where yeah. I was going to go back. And to. you know what's crazy? That's oh, my pet peeve. If it's last minute, then you ask me what I want to do. Go fuck no. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Go okay. Fuck yourself. So I know we talked about things. We all said like <laughs> unprovoked things that men have done. But has anyone ever like unprovoked, like fumbled like a birthday or like a holiday? Like never. overspoke oh. some shit that they was going to do for you and they ne- didn't Never, do it? never, no, no, never. Yes, they have. They didn't overspeak, but it just was like, how do you know my birthday was today? Why would you fumble that? Like, are you stupid and they were so i mean I'm... actually no okay no yeah, nigga, no. nigga fumbled my birthday bad no. you know so bad um yeah no and it wasn't even about the dollar amount it's just about the principle like 
damn, we just did all this for your birthday. And the thing is, I was not even because of return, but like we just like you see how like well I put into like you. And when it came mm. to me, see, I think that I've realized it's really important to date people who like have the same like mentality as you whenever it comes to those things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I have dated someone who just did not celebrate holidays like that. Like mm. didn't do Valentine's, didn't do, really care mm-hmm. about even their birthday. It wasn't a big deal for them. So when it came time for me, I, I was underwhelmed by what was presented to me because they're not on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. So I think that that's why it's important. But I was being, I was pissed off. I'm not. Yeah. I, but I mean, that goes into like, I guess, understanding your partner's love language or understanding like what's important to them. They need to so, understand mine. That's what I'm My saying. love language <laughs> is that. So yeah, it's like, getting, I feel yeah. like at this point, like if, if you're dating me and you know what I like, just do it. Yeah. Like yeah. the very few days out of the yeah. year, just do it. Yeah. You, you know, it, when I, I say that because like for me, it was, it was, I said, like, oh, we did all this stuff for his birthday. And I wasn't even expecting that in return. It just was like, bro, like, let's just spend time together. Like, I didn't care what it was. Like, we can go out to dinner. We can, you know, have a movie. We can do whatever. And that still was fumbled. Nothing, something that don't cost no money. Yeah. You out of here. I think this is a recent situation for me. But, like, I was already on, like, Rocky rocky roads with this man i i knew we wasn't gonna last but he kept putting so much pressure about like oh like i want to go on your birthday trip with you and i'm like all right you know but in the back of my head i'm like you keep doing this and like I, we're not even gonna be on talking terms when my birthday comes and sure enough like we ended up being on talking terms but we weren't fucking with each other at that point i'm like you knew we weren't on good terms and that's why i ended up canceling the trip because i was like if i would have gone through still planning that trip you and, and, and you ended up not coming and we ended up not going together I would have been pissed but luckily I had yeah, some discretion yeah. and I was you know I'm actually not going to take a birthday trip he kept asking oh when are you going on your trip soon don't worry about it you're not coming it's next week yeah. we're well, like, supposed to go with you and you asking face. and I'm no. like bro like I'm provoked like why would you do that like it wasn't necessary guys that be playing in your face like no but it's like why that's what I'm saying niggas just live here and themselves talk and some <laughs> women too because it's like yeah. you're yeah. telling me all this like okay we're going to do this on your birthday we're going to do this on your, your Christmas we're going to do this with and when it comes down to it, where are you? Yeah. Like, why are you talking? You don't go. even have to say this. You like, you don't have, have to. to do all you don't have to do all that. Like, just write that shit out. When it comes to her birthday, or when it comes to my birthday, or any holiday, let's just see how it goes. See how we feel about each other. And we can move accordingly. But it's like mm-hmm. you planning all this when you already know. Like, you're not even that type of dude. You're not even on type of time. Like, why? Yeah. For what? Just, just for what kicks. are you telling me that for? Just for he's and ha What are you like... telling me that for? It's unnecessary. <laughs> and it's crazy because I feel like because of all that we've talked about, like I don't. When men tell me certain things. I don't even be believing it. I don't, I don't but until I see it with my eyes. eyes I become mute. I don't. I, well, okay, cool. Okay, cool. You real not, not yeah, because I don't believe I don't you. Really and they be like, oh, you're pa- niggas just lie. I just feel like it. Like the people that do, they ain't gonna be just talking like that. Look, right. I don't need to hear what no you facts. trying to do. You gonna do it. So you, gonna you already, you already right. off the yeah. team when I hear you talking. A, bi- a like big that. step, but gonna so, step yeah. okay. when they need to. Like Girl. what? So we've been kind of going hard on the men. I, mean, I want to know us as women do y'all feel like y'all do unnecessary things to provoke men or like do y'all think y'all are also y'all be lying I'm not gonna lie you said y'all are you I be lying for oh, no yeah. reason yeah. Like, somebody said <laughs> I lie about it, I'm like why <laughs> why'd I lie like a nigga could literally ask me like did you go out last night no Oh my god! And I did. Like, I was lit. I'm, I'm hungover. <laughs> what about the truth? Are you running from? I don't know. It's not bad. I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like I don't know. I feel like sometimes guys ask you questions and it be a trap, and it's like I'm trying to. It's because they be trying to judge you. Because <laughs> niggas just ask if you're going out. They trying to see like what type of time you really be on. Yeah. Like, oh, you always be out. That's what I'm not. Thank about to tell you. you. I hate when people bro. say that, too. bro. Like you, you see me out one time, and now, now you're always, always out. out. Like. Mm-hmm. I mean, I will do things unprovoked sometimes if I'm like a little pissed off. Same. And like, they may not even know why I'm mad at them. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I'll be oh, my ignoring treatment. text messages, oh, but then person. posting on it purposely. And then I'll be posting quotes at that. Oh, that's You know, like. Know. You <laughs> so, you, so you a subber. <laughs> I don't want to say I'm a subber, you know, like. But you are. That's what that is. Low key. The definition. Low key. Yeah. Low key a subber. I, I, uh, I, I'm a brat sometimes. Like if I like like 
if I'm like upset about something, instead of just actually talking about it immediately, I just really like oh my create. God. See, I, create I was about war. to talk about people <laughs> like that. Because I have a lot of guy friends who just like their girlfriends be having an attitude for no reason. I'm like, Girl. dang, did she wake up happy at all? It's, like, why I, I, is no, it no. Good? It's not even that. It's not waking up under not, the table. You no, don't know. It's not no, waking yeah, up. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes like, I'm not waking up with the attitude. Just like sometimes dudes do stuff and it's just like to not put you in a mood. That's what I'm saying. What happened? Because ask a girlfriend, you sometimes niggas do stuff and you just like. Oh you're just like, you don't even know how to explain it. You're just so angry, but it's like, it's like are you, you doing know? this on purpose? Like, yeah. <laughs> to make me look bad? At no, this like, it's just people shit where it's just like, no one will understand. But That's why I was like, I yeah. do feel like women in general have attitudes unprovoked. Like, why do you have the attitude? And men for? don't, because I've been around a lot of men that have attitudes No, unprovoked. for real. Well, but we're I, talking about women. So, think, okay, so I can say for myself, I do think that I'm a little bit more like emotional. You I'm know? very emotional. It's whatever. I can. I can definitely say that like some days I just wake up like mad. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm like, damn, like and anything can like really kind of set me off. You know? (laughs) But that's the type of girls that my friends be having. But those no Uh, if I was the type of girl, I'd be his wife at this point because I'm perfect. What are you talking about? No, No, you were saying you no, she was saying are you the type of girl? I'm like No, I said those are the type of girls that my friends be having where they just sometimes they just wake up mad like you just never know with them. No, but I don't know what it is. Like it's just certain things will like irk you. You know what I'm saying? Now those are far few in between, but there are certain days where I'm just looking like, why would you do what are you talking about? Like why would you say that? You know, it's like True, but granted, you know, I have I, I've been wor- actively working on like if you get annoyed, like let that just be a moment and get over it. Like yeah. don't let that like now come off on everything and no. everybody. Unless you're the one that caused me my attitude, yeah. I'm not gonna bring you into it. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I, like, sometimes because sometimes come on. Yeah, and I also <laughs> realize that like I be having like I I've realized recently that I be when I I'm hungry, my attitude will change. I'm not oh, gonna talk oh, to you. Oh, I'm not oh gonna my, talk I used to, to have you. that bad. Yeah. I used to be hangry yeah. bad. Uh, but what if he's the one who caused you to be hungry? Like, that's what I'm saying. Unless he does, he's the direct cause. <laughs> I'm not gonna have an attitude with you I'm because not gonna lie. I don't want to ruin your day like that. Whenever I'm, someone shows up late for a date, and I like save my stomach for that date, and like let's say like oh, now you haven't like, ate all day. Mm. What we could have ate? I could have ate before Thank this you. if you was gonna do all this. And then you don't even uh, like you don't contact me before. Be like, hey, I'm running oh late, and I'm gosh. just sitting here waiting. And now you're an hour late, and I'm like starving. I will. I open the door like, ooh, like. You about to piss me off. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I feel like mm-hmm. when I'm mad, I'm very good at telling the person who I'm talking to, like, if they call me, like, hey, I got an attitude. Like, mm-hmm. I have an attitude right now. And I'll be like, I don't want to take it on you. I'm going to have to call you later. Or if I'm texting, I'll be like, hey, like, I'm not in a good mood. Like, I let them know. Because I know I can have, my attitude can come a hard. And so I tell them. That? They do. Or, like, you're, I talk to some you're letting people. letting someone know. On, if, it, if they call me on the phone. <laughs> And I'm in the heat of attitude. I got to get off the phone because like, anything you say to me is going to irritate the fuck out of me. In a text, like, you know, we're not texting. But, you know, normally in the past, like, well, what's wrong? And, like, talking through it, like, calms me yeah. down. But definitely when it comes to calling me on the phone and I'm mad, mad, we need to get off this phone. Yeah. Because <laughs> anything can, I could trip in my apartment and now I'm cussing you out. Like, <laughs> I have to get off the phone. But I think about unprovoked, like, me, like, Love. I like to irritate a nigga. I like get on a nigga's nerves. Like, yeah, what? Too, I'm annoying they, as fuck. Like, yeah. I will get on a nigga's nerves. Like, and it's funny to me. Huh. I like I like I'm Don't like provoke. a prankster. I'm a joke. I will literally, and sometimes it comes off like as a nuisance. But it's oh. cool. Oh, like, I got a smart mouth. I I'll be telling jokes on provoke for sure. For nothing. I'm gonna tell like a joke for me and not for today. sure. I'm gonna crack on you <laughs> for sure. <laughs> sometimes you just have to read the room because sometimes you know. But sometimes I be feeling bad. Like sometimes I'm like, dang, like you actually took that joke to heart. <laughs> oh my, you know? oh my me. gosh. Uh, I used to talk to someone like, that dang, took my I'll jokes too seriously, and I'm like. We can't be together. No, so, I want. I do want to hear more lies, though. Like, would you be lying about unprovoked? No, yeah. So, Michelle already sh- shared her story, but what's, what's, another, what's a time, lie? like, when Who y'all lied about lie something just provoked? super duper dumb, and you're like, bro, why did I even uh, lie about uh, that? Because I want to tell you that one time I I'm lied about going out, the way he was like, oh, what did you do this weekend? I was like, oh, I stay. Uh, why I lied about that? Even I think I told Paula, Paula was like, Michelle, oh why did you gosh. lie about that? No. And the crazy part is, it was dumber <laughs> because I saw his friend while I was out, and wow. it should have been. <laughs> but in my head, I was like, enough time had passed where I was like, who's going to tell you? Who's going to tell you? Oh, my God. I literally got a text saying, so what did you really do on this day? And I was like, dang. Yeah. I have a good one. And I was like, so he was like, yeah, that's what you told me the other day. Have oh, a nice yeah. life. I was like, <laughs> over yeah. what life? Oh, and honestly, have a nice life. I said, over like, what you catch someone in a blatant life. Why are you, like, no, because it be, if I find you to lie, okay, cool, but it be, what did you lie for? Like, that be making me more mad because it's like, you lied for no reason. So now I'm even more mad because if there's no, re- I wouldn't have been mad if you would have told me the mm-hmm. truth. So yeah. now I'm just like, 
that makes it even worse. <laughs> Trying to be yeah. a pick me. Have a nice oh, life. Yeah. For real. <laughs> I lied one time in undergrad. Unpro- like, strictly unprovoked, bro. I had a boyfriend at the time. I had got off work. I don't know why I lied that I was not going out. I definitely was going out. And so, like, meanwhile, like, he's on the phone talking to me the whole entire time I'm driving home. I'm like, okay, I just got home. I'm about to take a shower. I'm going to go to bed. He's like, no. Um, call me when you got the shower. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Like, this nigga knows. Like, at this point, he knows. So, like, I, I go in the shower. I take a shower. I'm getting ready. He FaceTimes me. And he's like, what are you doing? Mind you, I put a robe over my clothes. And he's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm getting ready for bed. Like, whatever. <laughs> so it's just like, whatever. And he's like trying to talk on the phone. I'm like, I got to get off the phone. Like, I just, I don't know why. I just didn't tell him I was going out. Mm-hmm. So I done left the house dress. We were going on a party bus, I think, or somewhere. And then he FaceTimes me. And he's like, what the fuck did you laugh for? <laughs> he's like, you know what, bro? He's like, you're a fucking... You I don't no know. Thing. Like, why did you pick up? No, the thing is, because he was blowing me up. Oh, so he and already knew. He, he was blowing me up. And it's like, I, I, no, he, I, I, the thing is, I don't know why I he lied knew. that I was he going knew. out. He knew from the time I got off work because the fact that he stayed on the phone with me all the way till I got home, yeah. called me, you got the shower, FaceTime me, why you got, why, why do you have no, clothes because on? Why did you you said too me? much. I'm no. going to go home and go to bed. Thank you, because why did you tell me three hours early that you're going to bed? No, I had got off late. It was late at night. Like, that was back when I was working retail. It was like 11 o'clock at night. So it was like, I was rushing to get home to hurry up and take a shower, change clothes, and meet up with y'all. And I don't know why. I don't know why. He's like, I can't trust you. You just lie for no reason. I'm like, I, and I, understand why you feel that way because why did i lie i don't know wh- why I mean, there had to have been a reason but right now i can't think of it and i think i just lied unprovoked i remember i started off a relationship really really bad i know y'all remember that time we went to level and we were like we were just lit y'all we were so i, I remember that day because that was probably the liveest day of my life <laughs> oh my i don't God. remember remind so, me I that's when little baby he, just dropped that my dog yeah song. so like we were oh. in we were in level lit y'all just lit. we used to do a number Look, of level, bro. Yeah. Oh. So before, okay, originally y'all were all upstairs, and I had met a guy downstairs. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I was, I, I sat downstairs and like was talking to him for a while. Well, eventually y'all were like, "Come upstairs, come upstairs to the section." Da da da. So I came upstairs, and that is whenever I met my now ex boyfriend. Okay, so we had just met, and <laughs> we were lit. Like him and I were vibing. We were cool. Da 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 da. And so he was like. When the club ended, we had exchanged numbers. He was like, where y'all headed to next? And I was like, probably going to go somewhere. So he was like, okay, I'm going to walk out with y'all. I was like, okay, cool. I was like, but hold on real quick. Like, I got to I gotta go talk to a friend real quick. So I ran downstairs. To, to talk to the nigga? To talk to the original nigga that I met. Mm-mm. Why? <laughs> Don't color plug daughter for no reason. Mm-hmm. I ran downstairs and I was like getting numbers with him real quick. And then next thing I know, like, I had already exchanged numbers. But then I turn around, and y'all were all downstairs. I was like, dang. And then my ex was there. So then we walk out, and he was like, oh, that was the friend you were talking about? I was like, yeah, you know, just a friend, da, da, da. He was like, oh, okay. He was like, did y'all exchange numbers or something? I was like, no. I was like, that's my friend. I already knew I him. Like, <laughs> I already knew him. Y'all, the way it caught up with me, like, a month later, because we all went out. And why was that original guy there with me and my then boyfriend? And I was oh, like as a double date, or he wasn't like no friends. In a they're friends, friends. Ah, uh, Tiki. And I mean, the number never went anywhere because, yeah. like, me and my ex at the time, we just took off. You know what I'm saying? So that original number never went anywhere, but I still got it. And it just looked, it looked so bad. Yeah. Ain't it your friend? I know, yeah, I, know. I was just looking he like, ain't speak. and he didn't. No, the thing is, and that <laughs> was his so friend. Worse. He didn't say anything to his friend that day to make you look crazy. He, no, he was just looking. He was like, yeah, nah, niggas got put one in my bag. <laughs> put one. In, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull my big one on you. Wow, yeah. Nikki. What yeah. a. F- no, I'm gonna say fumble. But I'm gonna say what a fumble. Yeah, that's what? crazy. That ain't pee. Who else <laughs> got any live stories? I'm pretty sure. I just can't think of them right now. I'm pretty sure because because no. here's the thing for me, like when. I, Niggas used to always try okay, to play girl. me. No, I'm Paulette, talking about Paulette. Yeah, Paulette definitely does. <laughs> but niggas used to always try to play like you go out too much or you do something too much. So I'm not going out. It's none of your business. I'm, I'm going to tell you I'm not going because I don't want to hear your mouth about it. Like, what? So I've been out the whole country texting like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Yes, easily. Uh, you don't need to know where I haven't been in the state. I'm. I'm, at, I'm in bed. I'm at home. I, oh, oh, my God. Man. Oh, no. Girl, I told this, I told no. this nigga. This nigga. Oh, my gosh. This nigga thinks I live in Texas that I met in Miami. Because I don't want to. I don't want to. No. I just be lying to him. Like, 
I have a story. This guy tried to talk to me or whatever. And y'all know when Snapchat was first introduced, they like started doing that whole location thing. Oh my gosh. And so oh God. I used man, I used to tell this guy, I'm like, oh, I'm at home. Like, I'm at home, I'm not doing nothing today, this and that. So one day I like met up with Nikki at her ex dude's house. And that guy happened to be there. And they were like, oh, where you come from? And literally, y'all, I was coming from where they said I was coming from. <laughs> They're like, oh, you're always on X X Lane. I'm like, excuse me? How do you know that? And like it had me shook. I'm just like, how do y'all know where I be? Like, you're always there. Like, you're always there. So <laughs> then I went back, you know, where I'm always at, X Lane. And like, I was like, I was somewhere. And, like, they told me that, like, they knew exactly where I was. Like, it was weird. He was like, is your location on? I was like, I don't think so. Girl went to Snapchat, location on, on Snapchat, location on in my phone. He's like, you're traceable on all your apps. I'm like, yeah, yeah, fuck. Yeah. I was so embarrassed. Because, like, I was lying. In, in there, I'm like, I don't know what y'all talking about. They they were looking at my location I'm gonna before lie. I got no, there. Yeah. I was gonna catch me in a lie. I got a tit. You got to send ten toes in that lie. Absolutely. Lies. I'm not, I'm not about to. You're not about to catch me in 4K Period. telling you the truth. Never. I said what I said. I started even believe my own damn lie. No, Girl. I said what I said. So, after y'all have lied unprovokingly, how do y'all get out the doghouse? Like, what do y'all do to get back in good graces with the person? I apologize. Lied to? That's it. <laughs> yeah, because. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like, wow. I apologize. <laughs> and honestly. Michelle said something. <laughs> I didn't say I didn't say I mean, you may, some, you may I'm, just, I'm, just giving, I'm just giving a suggestion. Do a little something strange for Pete Chain, but like, you know, you know, do a little something something. Make me feel good. It don't take much. It don't. Yeah, it, it, it's shit. It, it don't take it much. Don't, but like, I know. You know what's crazy? Yeah. I'm going case. through memories like, dang, we got the doghouse with me, man. <laughs> Not easy. I'm so. <laughs> In my case, y'all. Not too okay. easy. Okay. Okay. Now I'm a little one, two, and I'm good. A little one, two, and she good. I forgot. I forgot. It's, we good now. We good. I'm with not, that lie, lie. That's facts, though. With that lie I did, I'm not going to lie, y'all. It took a lot. What? Your thought was so yeah. a couple days. I mean, because like... A couple that, days? Or a couple months. weeks. I'm not going to lie. Your yeah. mouth or your throat? Oh. Damn, I never had my throat be sore like that, though. I'm not going to lie. What? Your throat? <laughs> no. Is that what you're talking about, Nikki? <laughs> no. What is going oh, on? Oh, wait, then what were you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> Cause that's what I asked. I mean, that's what she asked, and you kept saying oh, for you weeks. Was, I was following I'm like, that damn, Nikki, throw this. What would you like, do? Is suck a dick upside sore. down on the bed? She shit. said, "What well, you said? My thought was sore for, for weeks." weeks. So I was like, "Is that okay. what she said?" No, that's not what she said. He no, that's what Michelle said, I, and she I, said she co-signed. I said, so. I was in the dog house for weeks. I was. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> no, we was here. I'm Michelle. not gonna lie. Like, I used to. I remember I used to fuck with some dude, and like, I'd be in the dog house for at least six months. <laughs> Hello, you're not fucking with him anymore. No, like he wasn't fuck with you. No, no, no like six no, like no, no y'all. That was how it was. Like if you fuck up, like out. it's a six. Yeah, no, it's he a wasn't six fuck months. with you. Listen, he knew listen. What he was doing. No, no, girl, girl. Okay, so that you, was our what dynamic. What you do to get out the doghouse for our dynamic? I mean. I don't know what wait, I did. Wait, you got, it's you a waiting game. I think you got to turn into a house girl. I'm not gonna lie. Literally, I if think you, I think it was one God, of those things where no. I was literally like at his house like every day after that. What? Like, yeah, like just trying to prove myself. Yeah, I know. I feel you. I feel you. I'm proving your loyalty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't belong to the streets. No, hey, look, I, 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 I'm I not a city home. girl. I belong. I ain't home. doing none of that shit. Sorry. Yeah, hey, I'm no. not gonna lie. If you no, mad for more than like a couple of days, <laughs> like I'm not gonna. I'm gonna have to be off you because why are you still mad? Yeah. Uh, no, like, Crystal, I I'm with you. I, I, well, unless I, if I, I was in the wrong, yeah, I really you're, was. But with that situation I, yeah, for still, me, like, it's just like it didn't go anywhere. So how you could be mad? I'm gonna let you be mad. But after a week, I, okay. yeah, I think after seven days, I think it was more embarrassing because it was his friend, and so like. Mm. You know, I think it was just one of those things. Like his like pride was kind of like I kind of yeah. fucked mm-hmm. up. I kind of felt because he knew what he was doing. He saw the nigga was like, "Hey, come out with us tonight." Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think I've been in the dark house in a minute. I can't think of anything. Yeah, but I, I do. But anything. I do know like what Crystal said. Like, if I do something and like you're mad at me, like you only have so long to be mad because yeah. after that, if I'm like, I'm good on it. you. Like whatever, just don't forgive me. Bye. Like I, that's he- that's <laughs> oh, definitely me. That's like, definitely me. That's definitely, definitely me because it's like, bro, like I'm not about to keep begging, begging Thank you. Like either forgive yeah. me or don't. Like, and if you a, don't, I'm out of here. I'm not gonna be trying to chase after literally, you. Literally, do it. Make you sleep at night. If yeah. y'all forgive me, makes you sleep, then that's fine. No, I can't. Y'all say that. No, I mean, no. I was like, that that situation right there has just happened to me, and I was, you know, I'm good. You don't forgive me, bye. Yeah, no. Sorry. Yeah, no. I don't Did think I've ever been in a... No. No. Okay, okay. well, I mean, for me, I, this, I wasn't in a doghouse that long. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, it, with the situation where I was, like, in a relationship, I just wasn't in a doghouse that long, so I, I can't really just... He was mad, but yeah. it was for a couple of days, and, yeah. you know, he had a right to, so it was like, okay, cool. Yeah. Well, when she come over and do a little one, two, he all right. Type song. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. One yeah, thing so, I hate so, yeah. is when a guy's mad, but it's like, 
you're mad, but you low key just decided to be mad because you felt me be mad. Yeah. <laughs> Has a guy ever done yeah. that? Like, it's like you yeah. low key have an attitude or like you find some shit out, you're like mad at him, then all of a sudden, all of a sudden he starts getting mad at you and you're like, you're not the victim here. Like, I can't Period. even. Over the you. He's mad at you yeah. for being mad. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Or, like, all of a sudden it's just like, yeah. why are we still talking about this? We already... yeah. No, 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 no. I know your yeah. games. Yeah. <laughs> I know Thank your you. games. Yeah. Pipe down, sir. I'm Literally. still mad. Literally. We're going to keep arguing. Why are we arguing about this again? Because I feel like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's not even that. And that's why I think when it comes to like situations where like the guy has done wrong or, le- or whatever, like, and they're in the doghouse, like, I think they have to let women actually like be. I feel how they feel for however long it takes. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Because it's like, if you cheated on this girl and you get upset because, because it nigga, well, I'm not gonna let you put yourselves out like that. But like, nigga cheated and like, again, you bring it up and he's mad at you. You did wrong. So mm-hmm. I, I bring it up and now you mad at me. I'm so confused. So I think like a guy, you just gotta let a woman just be mad. Let her be mad. Let her write it out. Like if she needs to do whatever she gotta do to get it off, yeah. then that's cool. But I think you interrupting her healing process by getting mad at her for being mad. That, that doesn't make sense. Look, well, you know, why are you being mad? Why are you yelling? Why? Let people just get their yeah, shit Yeah, I think like, like, my like issue it. with men is like when they try to like rob you of like you being upset and like, yeah. oh, you have no right to feel how you feel. And it's like, you have no right to tell me how I should be feeling in this situation. Like, you should look just be quiet. And I'm not trying to say And that let me be upset. People can't be mad for however long they want to be. But I do feel like when it comes to certain things and a year mm-hmm. or something has passed, like, yeah. you can't keep taking it on that person like that shit happened yesterday. Uh, I yeah, think that's, that's very true. overwhelming no, yeah, for sure. as well because sure. I, def- I have been that person, like, shit happened a long time ago and I was still bringing it up. And I was like, girl, yeah. like, you need to leave this man because <laughs> no, you facts. miserable. He miserable. Like, if you can't let that shit go, move. Yeah. So it's like, I agree there. take I your agree time. There. But like, there's a, a, a time Don't drag limit, it, right? Yeah. And if Don't you know you can't let it go, then let but him, I just let feel him like go. Though. My yeah. thing is, as soon as you forgive them, you cannot bring, like, stop bringing it up. Because, like, see, that's that's the minute, that's, that's, the, yeah. the minute you no. No, 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 it's not really to me. No, because the minute you chose to forgive that person, like, okay, like. Mm. You cannot keep going no, back and referencing cannot, this. No. Like you, you forgave like, that person. You can't act Hang like it a person up. can't be triggered. But still, I like, can you forgive. Need I don't. Work I, through stuff. I'm you not forcing to myself to, work to forget things. shit. No, I don't. You have to forget, but it's like always bringing. There are people that will forget something, but always bringing it up. Like, what was the point? Forgive. You didn't forgive them. But, so why did you lie? But I, but I agree. Bring it up to you over it. Bring it up to you over it. Because I feel like a lot of times, like I feel like it's just a like I feel like you're able to forgive somebody, and y'all could work through it together and all the other stuff. But this whole put a bandit because I don't think anybody can recover well i don't know exactly like what it is but mm-hmm. no one can recover for something that's like emotionally damaged you and uh yeah, traumatized you exactly. and truly forgive somebody without bringing it up sometimes it's like it may eat at you because maybe you're in a situation where it's like damn this triggered me i think it's healthy to have a conversation and just mm-hmm. be like you know what mm-hmm. honestly now that i'm seeing this or now that we're having such a good time it really reminded me of the last time we were here this was like two days before he cheated on me with that girl and i thought we were in a good space and now it's like i'm feeling triggered i think it's healthy to have that conversation and for the guy to be able to backdoor and be like we're over you can't bring that up that's not healthy because mm-hmm. it's not realistic like no one can go through something like that with a partner that True. you decide to stay in i'm just and not saying like oh like so ha- there are people that constant like it's like but have y'all been on the we- flip side where like you did something and they keep bringing it up like do you know how? <laughs> I know what I was that... called. I was called a cheater for a very long time Damn. before y'all no, even got yeah, like... side of things. Before yeah. we even got together, I, I think it was just one of those things where it's like I just started off on the wrong foot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was kind of hard to come back from that. I think it was like one of those things. Like it, it, it also depends on what kind of person you are. Like for me, I am the type of person that you, when I meet somebody, you build trust. But some people are the type of people, when you meet somebody, you give them all your trust. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So it's like, mm. as soon as I broke that, it was kind of one of those things where it's like, it was just hard. Yeah. You know? But he still watched it. Because I had somebody tell me they forgave me, but boy. You didn't feel like they did? Yeah, they hard. kept bringing it up. Yeah. I'm like, did you forgive me? I've been forgiving you. Then why are we talking about it? Because I'm just saying that was fucked up. Then why are we talking about it? And okay. again, I had to cut him off. Again. Because yeah. I'm like. But were you triggering him? Were you doing things that were making him, like, no. that were reminding him you of that? you not picking up. Mm-mm. And it, it, but it was crazy because in that like we would be talking about something he would bring it up like okay I was okay. like are you gonna keep yeah. bringing this up he's like I forgave oh, you already yeah. but then it was weird because it was like it was really on some get back type shit because then like I was like why do I have to keep calling you and you're not answering the phone he was like you remember when you did that to me you know oh, like the way that feels no. and I was like oh I'm out of here I'm out of here because you didn't forgive me what you want is get back at me it. and I'm leaving because no. I'm not gonna deal with that bro you either forgive me if you didn't include you didn't but no. you know what because I, a guy told me this other day he was like He's he's never been a, uh, like he's never dated somebody who's like ever like left him. He's always like been the one leaving, which is I don't know a weird thing to brag about. We are flex, but he also okay. said like any girl who's tried to leave him, he lets them come back. He was like, "Cause you leave me, if you come back, I'm gonna do you worse." I was like, "Oh my god, future!" Me? No, literally, I was just that's like giving the vibes of the guy. I was like, "That's 
Yeah, yeah I was like, huh? Like he was like, yeah, because you think you could leave me? Now I'm going to really, now I'm going to show you. Why'd you leave? Because now I'm going to do your ass but worse. But the thing I'm is, like, he didn't do me worse. I'm yeah. still a heartless bitch. That's why I cut you off the first time and the second time. Period. And when you see me outside, I'm going to act like you a fucking alien. Move Period. around. <laughs> Not alien. No, no, but like, I, I've definitely like forgiven a nigga, but then I brought it up again because you were triggering me. Because why would you post that stupid shit on your story after we just got into it behind this dumb shit? Oh, uh, yeah. Like, what's wrong with you? Stupid. Yeah, now you're moving stupid. Like, what's wrong with you for real? And then we got into it again. Uh, if you forgave me, then why Why would you no. post that? I don't... And I hate the whole, like, oh, you getting mad over social media because it's like, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, we all here to lie and post whatever's cute. But, like, mm. still, bro, don't be... Po- don't do that. Like, that's why I can't follow no significant others. Because just... No. What? No. Like, I'm going to report not. your page. Get your page no, it get your page, take it down for real. Stop playing with me. But girl, I had to pay other, me to get it back. You're definitely getting muted. No, and I'll never sure. see your story. So. Muted for sure. Mm-hmm. That way we can still, you know, send stuff back and forth on the gram. But you're definitely getting muted. I'll never watch your story. I can't because I hate like we follow a guy and then some. And this is going to sound real jealous, but this is just who I am. But like if a girl comments like hearts, oh my gosh, you look so cute. And he's just like, thanks. I'm like, what are you responding to her for? Who is this girl? Double tap and not even. No. Do- but words commented back. Either respond to all the comments or don't respond to any of them. When you're picking yeah. and choosing who you're responding to, now I'm side eyeing you because but why I do you that respond sometimes. to a kissy face and a heart saying thanks? No, that, a necessary. kissy face and a heart is so. But I do that sometimes because I literally, I start to try to do everybody, then I get tapped out. And my third Period. person, I'm like, yeah. oh, sorry, y'all, I can't Tap, do it. Oh my God, Tap, thank you for and then it's like, me. Oh, I have not responded yeah, back to you. Yeah, then it's like, th- and it's like 30 hard. other people you haven't responded to. And I'm just like, it looks like I'm picking favorites in the comments, but I just tried it. It's like, it's hard. That's why I don't post pictures because, like, it's hard for me to respond respond to everyone it's not that, sometimes no, you want to do not, a little personal probably. message but it's like Mm-mm. but you feel I don't know because I feel like every time I comment on people's pictures they have talk. a message on like hey thank you so, like mm-hmm. it, but you know what you know what I mean I, like, feel I that need because... to actually like yeah I take my time and respond back to everyone I remember I said something because this whole like T-Y Y-W-C thank you. you guys don't have manners because <laughs> give me the rest of the consonants thank what's you. going on T Y, like yeah. I was like Ty, a lot of this? people are abbreviating words that don't need to be abbreviated. Like I'm like they're already I mean, short. Like, yeah, I'm like we're you on our phones a lot, y'all. So I mean, I don't no, the abbreviation. fully no. express the gratitude or keep it because I'm like yeah, T Y Y W or someone said T T Y L. I'm like y'all, are, you y'all talk like to like you this. later. Y'all, y'all are the type of people. No, y'all are the type of people who get mad. You gonna get mad if you send somebody a text and they like it instead of respond? Uh huh. No, no, no. I don't like people responding to me short like that. That I get because I do that. I do that. But I feel like no, like. Got, no, but I feel like thank yous are something that you you can fully say to somebody. Yeah, you can. It's a thank. I don't Honestly, know why we shorten that. Nah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I'm a like I'm a like. Thankful? One thing about me, I'm a like the message and not respond. No, yeah, I feel that. Or yeah. exclamation mark for yeah, no. yeah. emphasis and not respond. Mm-mm. Well, I guess to wrap it up, I want to ask you guys like, do y'all feel like y'all are easy to be provoked? No, but honestly, I feel like I need to just work on not compartmentalizing everything addressing things as they come then you won't be provoked mm. i don't feel like i'm easy to provoke because mm. I, I when i say i just i just i don't know treat a nigga how he come mm. like you unserious so i'm not giving you that much energy yeah i would shit. have to say i'm not easy i've seen people are easily provoked i'm not easily provoked Mm-mm. you gotta do you know and i'm mean? definitely like block next yeah i'm too nonchalant to i kind of wish i had enough energy to even give a I fuck don't. to be provoked behind these niggas because i'm so nonchalant like i don't care whatever mm-hmm. you're moving crazy i'm just gonna keep moving I literally have, i don't have time like no before we wrap it up like literally like some guy was trying to talk to me and like mind you y'all having a conversation with himself and he asked oh what are you doing today i'm like oh i'm out having brunch with friend what are you doing oh i'm about to get ready to go somewhere with girl my homeboys and girls okay <laughs> was that supposed to make me feel the way <laughs> no but you know what's crazy like, and no i'm not even finished pull up to a spot he's there with some girl and doing the most and it's like do you think i'm jealous like look at her and look at me i'm not jealous like <laughs> at all no jealous. rude i'll show you rude when i say that but it's like you were i mean i don't care <laughs> like you know <laughs> you were she was a casualty you trying to like sorry maybe just, hoteling on this mm-hmm. i remember a guy told me this thing and he was like oh yeah he's like oh you're lucky to have friends you could travel with because i don't have any friends that i could travel with and i was like oh, okay he was like yeah but you know I'm, I'm planning to go on a trip to well almost at the country i'm trying to go on a trip to da 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 and i was like Oh, but, but in my head, I'm like, oh, are, you, are you going with your friends? I have no friends. No, so I asked him, I was like, oh, okay, Do you, have you ever traveled alone? He was like, no. So I was like, okay, so who are you going to so-and-so with? The way he stopped and he was like... Um, Sometimes you gotta let a man talk. They telling themselves, Yeah, he was man. like, some friends. I was like, the friends that 
don't like to travel with the way I'm girl. looking at him, I'm like, why what was the point? You girl. started this conversation to tell like you're clearly going with a bitch. I like, can't even tell you the countless times I've heard things. I'm just like, <clears throat> this man don't know you just told on himself, but it's like, like I'm not gonna mm-hmm. even call you out because it's like it's embarrassing. Like it's embarrassing. Mm-hmm. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Are you not I think ashamed of just literally to answer your question? I don't know if I'm easily provoked because when I think of provoked, I think like you act out. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Now, do things get on my nerves kind of easy? Yeah, mm-hmm. but I don't oh, think yeah. I I don't say a lot of things. Of, I don't I won't respond to it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But internally, I think I can be provoked. Pretty oh easily. yeah, if we put yeah. it that way, yeah, because I get annoyed at everything. Yeah, like there's everything. a lot of things. I just feel like. Oh my gosh! Like I'd be rolling my no, eyes, everything, but I might not say. I'm not gonna respond. Or exactly, whatever, I might not voice it, but in, internally, I think I am easily provoked. For sure, so provoked yeah. to emotion, but not to action. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. niggas, niggas. Can we talk about how dumb men are? Like, no, well, the old boy saying like, oh, he's got uh-huh. girls. The old boy talk about, oh, I'm traveling with somebody. Like, men will literally be in your phone, and then they have you in their close friends. And you're watching their foolery. And it's like, why did you add me here to see your fucking foolery when you be in my phone saying other things? That like, should be studied. It I'm makes not gonna lie. no yeah, sense. So like, really are you research. trying to make me mad? Are you trying to get a reaction research to me? Do you want to see how much I, I care? Because that's, that's like, going to push me back off of you. No, I think it's yeah. one of those things where they just want a reaction. I'll be honest guys with you. I don't think it's dumb. Mm-mm. No man will ever get a reaction out of me. I don't, think it's, I, mean. I don't know if it's dumb. I would say it's like just poorly planned calculated it's is it even calculated sometimes it is because and that's a question man please tell why do y'all try to talk to women and then add because it's like i wasn't seeing no green bean before so it's like all of a sudden i'm in your close friends and i'm watching shit that it's like as someone trying to talk to me i shouldn't be seeing what what's the purpose is no, it jealousy i said that the other day. Re- if you add <laughs> me to your close friends it ain't gonna work like, <laughs> it ain't gonna work i see what you're trying to do but it's not gonna work like yeah it's, tell us why tell us the the ideology. The I need to stop background. adding men to my close friends then. Oh, yeah, I took out the niggas down. Nigga, we've been told you that, Nikki, but go off. <laughs> I mean, just add, like, there's some people that like, have cool vibes in their close friends. So, I mean, yeah, yeah I'm return the favor. But I mean, you can have guy friends yeah, and your cares. close friends. I don't care. I'm talking about the, guys that the moment, are interested in you. The moment. Oh. Versa. Mm-hmm. oh. I, mean, or I'm, I really don't care. I'm talking about when I, when, it, when a guy adds me to his close friends. Mm-hmm. I have guys in my close friends, but yeah. Well, we're going to have wrap it up then. Um, wrap it hope up y'all enjoyed the then. episode this is actually live on YouTube so if y'all want to catch our faces in the studio hop on that make sure you subscribe leave a comment thumbs it up you know share it with a friend tell a friend to tell a friend um, make sure you follow us on Twitter Instagram all that good shit it's your girl Jewelry Alia signing out bye y'all it's your girl Shell bye, bye. <laughs> dang we're gonna let her finish she had I a lot to right. say I, I mean wha- it's your girl Shell <laughs> bye <laughs> Bye, everyone. It's just Nick. And it's your girl, Michaela, signing out. Holla. And I'm going to spare y'all today. It's your girl, Crystal, a.k.a. Champagne Chris, a.k.a. Chrissy Say. Wait, Chrissy mm-hmm. F. Baby. <laughs> Please say not in you. the baby. <laughs> you ain't baby, this. <laughs> and we out. Peace. Bye. Bye.